Hello? So, uh, you, time to tell you? the story of when I sent my friend into a yeah, McDonald's in, and he baby. never forgave me. <laughs> Why is the first screen that pops up the definition of a lie? <laughs> I didn't know what fucking words you were talking about. <laughs> You're like, oh, get to the source, dead. and I'm like, okay, fine, I shall. Hey, why am I all the way over in fucking Timbuktu? <laughs> You're lucky it was hardcore goddamn porn. Oh, shit, okay. Oh, but that yeah, funny would it have been. All right, let's I'll go ahead and start for the day, and we'll see if we can't get started. Let me put up my rain ambience with absolutely zero music to get you guys into this little mood here. It's pronounced um, ambiance. Man, do you want to suck my dick or what? Like, yes. Back the fuck up. I thought you'd never ask. Hello, everyone. I'm Nogo. I'm going to be the uh, the GM and I'm the host. This is the guy that you see on the server because I know we got a couple of new people. Howdy. Uh, if you don't Holy know. Holy shit. Holy shit. We have five viewers and there's four of us playing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, Berserk. <laughs> we finally went above the player count. We've Holy done it. Shit. Here. But uh, we're going to go ahead and... Um, if you guys don't know, uh, we've recently lost three players. I'm in kind of a fugue state trying to figure out what to do with it, but uh, other people expressed that they wanted to keep up and do some stuff for now, so I'm just going to run it. We're going to see what we do. It's a little bit unprepared, but we'll see where we go. It's just, it's just a little fun little night. Now, I have, I have a question about this statement, if that's okay with you, Nogo. You said that no. other people have no, you don't to make any keep questions. on running, and I feel like I need some names because... Uh, Part of your current cast, I said, no, no, God, we need to tuck you into your, your rocking chair, you know, get you a nice warm hot water if bottle, I a soothing, stop running and let you every just take a week, week, I will off. not run. <laughs> All right. You I'm... can't sedate me with the horse tranquilizer you steal. You need to calm your, <laughs> pump your fucking I just brakes. don't want you to lie to our friends on the internet with the idea that we're rubber arming you into to forcing you to do more of this. We want you to rest. They're holding me hostage as we speak. They wanted me to do this. But no, it's um just we're we're just gonna play it off from the from the other side, see what we can do, and just have a little bit of fun with the uh, the adventure through the searing that you guys went through last time. So uh, I think we'll start off quick, uh, just from left to right. Oh God, a new left to right. Lil, why don't you start? Hi. Your character. Uh, my character's name is Fish, uh, or Nixie. Nixie, uh, the fish. You could say, um. <laughs> She is a one-armed uh, sorcerer who also turns into a shark sometimes. I think last um, session you had probably the most creative use of a spell that I've seen yet. Oh, man. I don't know why you are so excited that I cast Dehydrate on Wet Rock. It was pretty cool. <laughs> it was a pretty cool move, I, I gotta say. It made, me, it made me happy on the inside. Um, All well, right. Thank you. I do weird shit like that consistently. Vincent, you know the deal. Uh, I'm playing as Jonathan, the author, because that's what it says on this nameplate they've stuck me with. Uh, and I go around and I hit people with rocks. Do you do anything else? No, that's the best part. Do you write? As the author title implies? No, you'd be surprised. <laughs> no writing right. has happened, only rock smashing. All right, I still. am a caveman. Side, side us off so I don't have to listen to him anymore. Hello, uh, I am Steel. I am playing Mayrock. Uh, I'm a character who you could argue to be a little bit perhaps uh, duplicitous uh, or spurious. Uh, you could say that he he's... The story yeah. pulled up. <laughs> he's, he's enchanting and calmly and magnetic and a little beckoning, but at the... <laughs> <laughs> one more. You get one more. <laughs> Uh, shit. But in the moment, he's also uh, detached uh, from the rest of his party and floating through an endless void, as far as I know, which I'm sure will get more exciting here at some point in time. Um, but, but, but he's spurious. But, but spurious. He's unescorted, to the best of his knowledge, before a bear breaks through the realm between worlds. You are rather escorted, but we're not going to be focusing on you today. We're going to be focusing on Nyx. Nyx, you find yourself in the middle of this dark and, and foreboding forest, just outside of this uh, this ritual site that you'd seen etched out into the chalk. Why, why is the definition of alone pulled up? 
<laughs> I, do I need to read these out? Like, what are we doing? I'm, I'm just helping out. Okay. You're, you're in a foreboding forest. Uh, all around you, these massive spruce trees stand up on high. Uh, and half of your party has just vis- disappeared into the void of this ritual, ritualist, uh, this ritual site. Um, with massive runes, magical rune stones at the. Please stop! It's it's really distracting. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like supposed to monitor my stream while I'm they trying to figure out the uh, the definition of fugue. They dissolved. They've absconded. Receded. They evanesce. Evanesce. What? They ev and flow with the effervesce. With- no, that's a different thing. Ever been since this was like seltzer, seltzer water. But shit. bring me to life. You have been, you've been left alone for now. Um, your party is starting to make their way back up towards the trail, back towards the village of Caladog to return after having uh, successfully dealt with the goblin problem. They continue on, but you have this telling feeling that you need to stop. And sure enough, as you do, you look back towards the, the ritual site and see the smallest glimmer of magic still sheathed around it. Sort of this light blue aura-like glow. Okay. That's fun. Um, okay. Anyways, she's going to go off and have her own entire adventure. Uh, <laughs> me, and, me and Steel will be back next week. Uh, um, I got a ship and a whole crew waiting back for me, so I'm, I got shit to do. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, okay. So, I had this kind of idea, and I don't think anything's going to happen, or something bad is going to happen, and I'm going to lose something really powerful, but I I can't get it out of my head, so I would like to try it. Um, okay, hmm. uh, so I'm going to come up here, but I'm not going to, like, step in this circle. Um, anything okay. spooky happen? That would be foolish. Well- no, nothing spooky happens. You can see no, this. What kind of idiot would actually stand in the circle? Yeah. <laughs> you see this uh this blow this blue glimmer as it seems to flicker between the rune stones uh, and the undisturbed magical circle. There used to be a desiccated corpse situated dead in the center of it, and even the blood stain underneath him from I believe he'd been there for like a year. Like it'd been a while. Uh, it's gone now. It's, it is entirely, the whole thing is vanquished, and the only thing that you can see seems to be this black scorch mark on the ground. But the runes themselves do have some things of detail, if you'd like to check them out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would, for sure. Okay. Uh, you don't have read magic, or you do have read magic? I, uh, I do not. Time. You do not have read magic. Well, you can see that there seems to be these ancient runes uh, just in etched in the biggest letters that you they could possibly manage all over the rune stones and this swirling like pattern that seems to denote uh, summoning ritual as as you had clearly seen before. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can see that there is minor notes scrawled into the bases of them. They stand out pretty particularly as not all of them are in common or in thrally, but you note some that seem to be in, uh, what, what, what's the language? Hold on, give me just a second. I gotta go peep it because if I don't get it right, is Aquian? Uh, That's a lot Aquin, of language. I think. I feel like it's Aquin? just Aquin. Yeah. Yeah, it is Aquin. You you see that there seems to be some score some notched marks that speak in Aquan. Do you speak Aquan? Yeah. Wait. Wait. Actually, I don't have it <laughs> on my character sheet. I might not. <laughs> uh, this is one of those times where I'll let you pick. Aquan would okay, be like yeah. a common tongue for. Uh... Yeah. That's do not. Sure. Okay. Wait. No. Yes. Like I do. <laughs> Little. This is how you find out I can't communicate. Like a you human live on being. a boat. You don't read books. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you know common. When when Lil was like with her family under the ocean and they would burst into song like the seaweed is always green, uh, she would just like hum along, <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me her shark dad sang under the sea to her. <laughs> You probably did, if we're being honest. Of course. You saw their their slam poetry last session. 
oh god, there's gonna be slam poetry. Yes. <laughs> okay. I hope so you, know you do all know all of these have to have yes. payoff later. Okay. Yes, I, I do. Well, I'm always etched into the base. Is- I'm sorry to interrupt you. I've always imagined that awkward is just the sound people make when you like take a glass of water to your lips and just blow bubbles into it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like, so when Fish is like uh, like reading the the letter, she's like. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't come up yet, but Jonathan uh, has one other language, but it's not really a, lo- a language. He can echo locate. Uh, he clicks his tongue. That's really uh, nice. <laughs> you might be dead. Him. Back up, boy. <laughs> but right now, uh, you read the base of the rune stone. You can see etched in, and this very long scrawl of text is, in fact, a, a poem of some sort. I muted myself. Help. Oh, I love that. We- a po- seaweed a is always sort. greener. What could that? Let me mean? see if I can read this. Oh my god! Oh my it does god. not translate well on the text. I'll, I'll I'll see. I'll speak it. Early in the day, it was whispered that we should sail in a boat. Only thou oh. and I, and never a soul in the world would know that our pilgrimage to no country and to no end. In this shoreless ocean, at thy silently listening smile, my songs would swell in melodies, free as waves, free from all bondage of words. Is it the time not come yet? Are there work still to do? Lo, the evening has come upon the shore, and in the fading light the seabirds come to their fl- flying to their nest. Who knows when the chains will be off, and the boat, like that last glimmer of sunset, vanquish into the night. Vanish into the night. Is it vanish? Vanquish is his word of the day. Stop, stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is it? I might He's have been looking at Penny saying vanquish. Every time, every time you've gone to say vanish, like the corpse vanish, you keep you keep saying vanquish, and I'm loving it. The tongue work good. Good, yeah, excellent. Okay, in the chat, the the poem just got done twice. I see. Also, that yeah, means- I was I was waiting for it to keep going, and then it just yeah. ended. I just loop it. I just spam it <laughs> forever. Why'd they fucking write it twice? That's so weird. Yeah. And it seems that it seems to be etched onto the base of each one of the runes. Uh, you can tell this is slightly magical glimmer. Uh, I do believe you have detect magic. I do. Okay. Uh, well, it is a conjuration magic from what you're able to tell. Nice. I'm good at that. Not that that matters. <laughs> cool. And... Okay. 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 <laughs> So you look at the rocks. Yeah. Okay. So here's my thing. Like, obviously, like, I would like to try to, you know, do magic, awaken magic, open portal. Um, Certainly feeling a a little lost. Um, You have the spotlight. I'm sure she, like, I, okay. So I'm sure. Uh, not necessarily anticip- not certainly not anticipating to work, but she will like read the poem out loud and be like magic, um, and then when that doesn't work, <laughs> can we can can we as a group just take a quick second to like look at the poem and see if we can figure out what the fuck any of it means? Because the only thing that I can reference here is the shoreless ocean. Everything else. Is all just gibberish to me. Play, 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 play with me straight here, Logan. Did you write this or did you find this? Oh fuck no! I found this, but okay, I've extrapolated I say, the meaning into something else. Okay, I was gonna say if you okay. fucking wrote this poem, I would, I would go like bite off the head of your dick right now. Oh my god! <laughs> but you read out the poem, uh, and you can see that this slight. Excuse me. This slight glimmer that seems to be moving between the rune stones in this uh, in this winding pattern replicates itself, splitting off and enwraps itself over the rune stones, all five of them, and seems to be waiting in a small, patient glow. That's... You feel you've done something right. Oh, that's fun. Um... <laughs> okay, so like. Both out of character and character. My biggest fear here is that I step into the circle and die. Right. Um, 
because of that Mayra is very Colstein. justified with what I gave you. <laughs> Yeah, no, two of your friends did just die, and Fish would be like, man, I could probably do some magic, but also, I just watched what happened when a non-wizard tried, and it didn't look great. For all you know, they were vaporized, like, they... <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. Okay, so, so I true. think... You, you saw them. My first thought, then, is to uh, go and grab, like, a branch, and throw it in the circle. What happens... <laughs> There is now a branch in the middle of the circle, and you detect there is a smite, a, a little, there's like a, the magic level or whatever you would say, the power of the effect seems to wane slightly with the stick in the middle of the circle. How strong is Fish? Because I'm trying to imagine how how big like this, this branch that she was able to break off the tree is. That's fair. Uh, she's, she's, uh, she's 12 strong. Okay, so, no, that's you know. solid. That's a good like sorcerer. That's a solid sorcerer. Yeah, no oh, kidding. Thank. Um, so okay, when that happens, that she's going to reach her little toe in, just her toe into the circle. Do I die? Roll. <laughs> oh God! Oh, no. <laughs> no. Roll a death saving Wait. throw for me. You 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 stick your whole toe in. You're just kind of wincing your entire body back in expectation, <laughs> and it taps against the circle, and nothing happens. Okay, great. Um, and she takes a full step. She's in the circle now. You are now Her inside dad. the circle with the magical branch, and you can see that the magic power <laughs> that seems to surround you uh, increases to a nominal level. Okay. She, uh, she takes the uh, branch and she throws it out of the circle. Yes. Slightly uh, higher. There's, like, one oh. person who is, like, watching from a distance, right? Like, Astro at a nearby hilltop watches Fish go over, grab a branch, <laughs> and into the circle. Nothing happens. Yeah. She walks into the circle, <laughs> throws it back out. You're tweaking with the circle now, but you can see that your party has started to make their way, like, mostly down the road now. And they're kind of just looking back at you with a little bit of, uh, of expectation. Rain is falling down on top of your head now as the entire place is soaked. I just need to take a minute to let you know that when you said that, you know, like, you know, the less non-me things that are in this circle make it more magic made me go, I could strip and that might help. It was only a matter of time. <laughs> um, anyway, I, I'm not going to I have to that. transform into the T-800 so that I can now time travel and save my friends. Oh my god, it's Mother 2. Um, okay, so, uh, pretty sure this isn't gonna do anything, but, um, so after getting that, like, rock, the fancy magic rock from, uh, the, uh, I don't remember his name, sorcerer, you uh, dog. dog, dog, thank you, how of course, you how can I forget dog? dog? <laughs> how could you forget dog? He said, you were like, you'll know when the time is right, and I feel like this is very, like, Nixie of her uh, to be like, you know, maybe it's the time. And she like takes out her fancy magic rock and she like puts it in the center of the circle and she just like waits. <laughs> I'm gonna ask. Oh, dear God. Are you sure? Yeah, I've had this plan for a week and I knew I, th I was like, either I die or the rock goes away or nothing happens. But I'm committed at this point. This Around you, the runes start to emanate in a low, uh, a low, uh, God, I'm trying to think of like, of a chiming frequency uh, in, in, in sync. They're all in sync uh, one by one as they let out a low chime. You can see the magical power in the rune stone is quickly evaporated it seems to be a a dull gray rock at this point but the circle itself seems to have activated in some form or another uh it lets it starts carving along the ground uh in the place where the the rune that you saw drawn in chalk chalk was and a magic circle now sits at your feet but still you feel as though there is one more step that needs to be done mm. um stop talking about dogbert and dilbert <laughs> you guys let something do in a minute, I promise. Okay. 
So I said words outside of the circle, and I haven't said words inside the circle. So that's one thought. Um, what goes with, like, casting magic? Um, <laughs> Damn. There's, like, hand, there's, like, hand motions sometimes. I don't know what those would be. Um, <laughs> you can't do that. You only got one. <laughs> Dance like no one is shooting at us. Of course. Yeah, I guess, I, I guess, like, the first try would be just lo- to say the poem again inside the circle, uh, just to make sure that that's, you know, got to cross Boom. off all of the options, you know? Boom. Uh-oh. Boom. That was, wait, that's not a sound effect. Hold on, that's you making mouth noises. Play a sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a sound effect for everything. What do you, why you do have a sound effect for everything? I oh, may have I'm added, like, sure. 13 sound effects in the last session, but that's not the point. Play it. Actually, I do have something for it. Fuck. Play it. Play the, uh... I think it's the best I got. Nope. There we go. Foom. Foom. <laughs> <laughs> the rocks began to emanate, and you can see that they're shaking violently now. Uh, the blue magic circle bl- below you starting to uh, glow almost uh not starting to glow the glow it starts to uh, the light seems to evaporate into the sky uh as it seems to peel away from the circle itself and you recognize this because it seems very familiar to uh the opening few moments when mayrock jumped into the middle of the circle oh boy and you're just trying to recall what was the final thing to activate it oh no I mean, like they said, they they read the ma- they read the magic wrong. Oh no! Is there like a roll I can make? I don't remember. You don't remember? I, hmm. Okay, I remember. How do I punish her for not paying attention to no. my game every like, waking second? Hey. Oh no! He like, but he fucking me. drank from the thing. His like little flask. Uh, he was in there, and he was like, read the runes. And then, and then Astro read the runes, and then he was like, "Yeah!" And then he repeated it, and then everybody Give me a died. Wisdom. Okay, you have, you but have fish, food? where where will you, somebody you, like you ever get alcohol? Do you have a Mayrock chug jug? <laughs> That's a rad wisdom roll. Yeah, I know. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, that is quite nice. Well, you remember pretty vaguely that not drinking alcohol may have been how that corpse got there. Yeah, but I didn't have any. I don't have anything. Didn't you just drink with your dad earlier today? Oh yeah, I did. And I took. Didn't I take a walk me down? No, that was that was in my other campaign. (laughs) Drink the rain. It, no, the question is, you drank like two days ago. Is it good enough? <laughs> I what feel like... Two days ago? No. What Can I it? go on a side quest to go find a beer? And then come back? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to? Dude, yeah, I'll go eat dinner. I, 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 do, I do. I would prefer not to die. I would like to go on a side quest to get an alcohol. Okay. Where are you going? I'm going to go scoop me some pot roast. <laughs> oh, man. Um. Okay. Um, if he's leaving, then I need to keep going with this. I was gonna, I was gonna do a quick side slash over. Okay. Uh, then there was there was the town that we were in, like that were like, oh, goblins or whatever, you know, right? How far mm-hmm. away is that? Not too far away. Uh, you would say that it was probably about maybe a mile stretch from the goblin yeah. cave to the village, and this is somewhere in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Then yeah, then I'll head over to the town. Okay. You make your way over to the town, uh, able to catch up the tail end of the rest of your companions. Uh, The. Let me go over. Drop the portal set. I have it here. I know I do. Not this, not this, not this, not this. This? This. I, I do like Honey Pot, but Little John is good. You 
catch into the tail end of the village and find that it seems to be doing pretty normal, all things considered. The party quickly grabs the rewards for everything that they for everything that they possibly could that the headsman would be able to give them to them. Uh, Tulipan's seven hundred gold pieces, I believe, that she promised, being split evenly among the four of you. Yeah, four. So I think that's one seventy five gold pieces in your pocket. Okay, not to be petty, wouldn't it just be three of us? Uh, One person didn't come with us. Mm, I'll I'll allow it. Do you know how to break up 700 by three? Because I'm stupid. Yeah, I have a calculator. Not in this fantasy world you don't, though. Uh, three, two, thirty-three point thirty-three repeating. Of course. Of course. I'll take 233. <laughs> 233 is good. Take 233 gold pieces. Uh, the the guy scalps you your silver. Because... Huh. No. But uh, he, he gives you profuse thanks. You've done us all a great service. Uh, no. Uh, you're welcome. you uh lead me to the nearest bar already you we don't have any taverns or inns or anything around here if you want something to drink yeah then mm. olaf he makes meat great where does olaf live or make his mead he lives uh, down by the end of the dock. You can right. see his uh, ivory, or whatever the fuck you call it. Ivory? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I don't know shit. Apiary, that's it. Oh! <laughs> uh, I don't know shit about shit. I don't know why anyone expects anything out of me. But um, you quickly go over and see that he has these massive clay flagons. Uh, just... Just all you can see, like they're they're corked up at the top, each filled with this uh, his legendary honey brew. Excellent. Um, where where is he at? Is he inside? Give a little knock. Ah, who is it? Uh, hello. Uh, I will not have any trolls come to my house. I. Oh, I'm a human. Uh, I just want to buy an alcohol, please. That sounds like something a goblin would say. Um, would a goblin have a bag of cash this big? And she, like, jingles her 445 gold pieces. So you can see what seems to be a very fat-looking older man with a with a big, bushy red beard. Uh, as he nice. seems to be peeping behind his door, you can see the, the slightest of a chain uh, locking you out. And the moment that you flash the silver bag, you maybe give it a couple of shakes, uh, you can see his, uh, his eyes go from suspicious to absolutely delighted. <laughs> uh, I would like one alcohol, please, to go. <laughs> Well, you should have just said so before. Please come in. <laughs> All right. Um, she she ch- steps ch- in. Come into this uh, tidy little home, coastal home. You can see that there seems to be some dried, uh, some hanging strips of dried meat, uh, some preserved berry jars, and of course. You see the flagons of mead, which there was two outside, but you can see there's way, way more in here. He has it by the barrel. Ah, now that I get a look at you, much too shrimpy to be goblin, but having so many problems with that one. I think it's, uh, I think hopefully it's all dealt with now. Uh, thanks to yours truly. Uh, and she takes a little bow. You took care of goblin. Well, I had some help. I'd love to see it to believe it, but uh, <laughs> that is not why you come. I have come to celebrate. Celebrate you shall. Yeah. One flagon, yes? Uh, yes, please. Uh, and I mean, Three, if you have any special please. like magic or anti-magic alcohol, 
that would also be great. But if not, this this is good. Special, you'll say. Uh, mm. Yeah. Like Wait. for the the stepping into a magic circle kind of alcohol. Hmm. Do you like to gamble? Yeah. For yeah. sure, yeah. Good. Wait here, just a moment. He um he he saunters around fatly around his room for a minute. Uh his his swaggering body just kinda get a feel for the place again, and he taps onto the floor a couple of times, and you can see, of course, he has a, a hidden cellar floor. He he ducks down into it for a moment, and when he comes back, he pulls this what you can see is a very regal looking silver flagon. Uh it seems to be lined with um those uh, Gaelic looking like uh, borders, you know what I mean? Like the yeah, yeah, yeah. The Gaelic lines, uh, and and actually etched with gold, and the Ooh. cap is in fact not a cork; it is an actual lid. Wow. Mm. That's, that's Been looking some for someone fancy. to. Oh, sorry. Go on, please. Oh, I was just saying that's some pretty fancy looking stuff. <laughs> you better believe it. My great, great, great grandfather brewed this. They say the sun was still out, was still, was still vanquished when he did it. I'm gonna keep doing it. That one was on purpose. <laughs> they uh, say the sun was vanquished when he made it. Wow. Uh, so does it have some kind of a special effect? Hmm. He was known to be the greatest brewer in all his time. Also, it may be poison. All right. Well, worth the risk. Uh, how much? 50 gold pieces. You take it off. You take the silver chalice. You take the, uh, sorry, the silver flagon. Take it off my back. Uh, sure, if you throw in a, a flask of the regular stuff as well. It is a deal. Yeah, I feel like I could have got a better deal and I... I went too easy, too fast. You were a <laughs> she, terrible bargainer. <laughs> she hands over the... How much is it? 40 or 50, did you say? I think I said 50. Okay. You hand him 50 gold pieces, and you can see his eyes light up. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. You come... You're looking for alcohol. You come to Olaf's anytime. You are a friend, Troll Slayer. All right, uh... If I uh, live after this, I'll uh, I'll be back for sure. Good luck. Um, Don't like to be eaten by the wolves. Thank you. <laughs> um, and she heads out. All right. So your party is here. They've collected their reward, and they tell you their intentions to make it make their way back towards Threspire. Though they do know that your dad is lying in wait for you there. They did not see what you were doing with the, the runes, nor them magically activating yet again. What would yeah. you like to tell them? Um, I think she, she, I think she just goes right up to him and she goes, you know, uh, I know you guys said that you thought we shouldn't mess with the runes anymore, but I just, I, I don't think I'm done with them yet. If you guys don't want to stay... If you guys want to try and find the other some other way, or you just want to go off and work, whatever. I understand, but uh, it doesn't feel right just to leave him. There is some argument within the group that I'll not go into too much detail with, but a resolution is quickly met. They'll make their way back towards Thresspire, leave you to the runes, but the ship will stay in dock for as long as you need. Okay. Uh, we didn't dock the ship over here, though. We walked. No, no, no. The, the oh, ship is in, the in other Thresspire. Dock. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's in Thresspire. They're not taking off with it. You got it. Okay. Beyond um, the Pale. That's a good episode name, Steel. Good job. Thanks. I didn't realize that you've been writing them. Nights. Nice. He didn't. <laughs> I've done one oh. through five. He he did six. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. 
Mensa, you return your way back into the forest. Uh, a little bit more scared. This is a very dangerous forest, but uh, with two flagons now in tow, how are you, <laughs> holding them each on one arm. These are massive, massive flagons, probably about the size of your torso. So you're oh. just hefting them oh, along. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, uh, can I like... Oh my god. Um, can I can I tuck one into the back of my pants like they do with like flasks? Except it takes up like so much space. Like it's just like my back, so it's like I have like a weird like It looks like you're wearing a backpack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I just like have to stand super straight the whole time. I think that's a really good look for me. So um. you're waddling into the forest. <laughs> yeah, you know it's easy. <laughs> unharassed and you can see that the the magical runestone that you left there uh still has the faintest glow of magic on it and the surrounding area is still empowered thankfully yeah and so you still can't read magic though so this might be dastardly <laughs> yeah we'll find out um so i believe did Mayrock drink and then step in or step in and then drink? Do I do both? Okay. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a drink of the regular alcohol outside the circle as a little, like, preemptuous, I don't want to die. But also, I don't want to take the possibly poisonous alcohol and legitimately die outside of the circle. For some reason, I have this idea in my head that if I drink it inside the circle... I might not die. I don't know. Anyway, so she's going to drink from the regular alcohol. She's going to put it back. She's going to hold the flag in of the fancy shit. She's going to step into the center of the circle. She's going to take a drink of that, of that silvery, poisonous liquid. Is it good? Do I die? You don't die. Excellent. At least not yet. Yeah, classic. <laughs> Do I take any damage? Right? Right. Around you, you can hear voices beginning to whip around you in, in rapid succession. Young, old, male, female... Each of them seem to be babbling in incoherent phrases, and you're unsure if you were able to successfully complete what it is you can do. But you take one drink of this magical golden liquid. It tastes delicious after so much time, surprisingly. Yes. Uh, probably the best mead that you've ever drank. And one thing remains. So you said, oh, yeah, no, sorry, you go ahead. Yeah, OK, here we go. <laughs> Yay! Hooray! That's what I've been waiting for! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you said I could hear whispers. Can I make any of them out? Give me a perception. It is difficult. They sound almost incoherent. They are so low, but they are surrounding you on every corner. I don't know if this uh, helps anything, but I think she's specifically looking to pick up sections of, like, words that sound like what, like, Astrid said, what, what she thought the mm, word said. That's clever. Okay, go ahead and give it to me. A perception it's pretty low but you can make out roughly half of the whole phrase it's just magic gibberish as far as runestones stuff like that nice cool uh, you're not totally sure if you've got it right okay yeah for sure uh by the way uh i forgot before uh for that wisdom check that was 20 it should have actually been 18 um yeah, it's fine. Anyway, it's fine. My other no. stuff is updated. It's just that. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, she can't read magic. She, she's going to gun she's it. Good, she's, yeah, she's going to do the best that she can with the pieces that she has. You know, the, the whispers, the what she heard Astrid and Mayrock say. She's going to try to, like, get it. I feel like as close as possible. Uh, but hmm. we'll find out. Well... 
Nyx, you feel yourself being pulled down from the brink. The magic circle opens up before you, no longer this uh, this swirling hole uh, that had surrounded Mayrock and, and Vinny. You feel that this is something different, but at least similar. And these black, raspy hands grab... That's not right. <laughs> that's not right at all. Black, withered hands grab at your feet and yank you freely down into the ground. You can almost feel your legs being pulled from you. Uh, but you are pulled into the abyss. Vincent and Steel. Okay, so are you just going to keep referring to my character as my name, and then when you refer to me as my character's name, or...? <laughs> you know, I've noticed that too, I like it a lot. No, but you're not mixing it up, you do it only inversely. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Rin's right. Uh, I'm just looking up Scatman lyrics. <laughs> when I make magic spells. <laughs> It'd be nice if they were really like just just pleasant, happy messages. You know what I mean? Or or like they're all playing cards against humanity or something. That'd be a good time. I really In... like the Scatman John song. Yeah. Everybody jam. It's a very underappreciated uh, hit. <laughs> all right. Jonathan and Mayrock, you felt yourself vanish from this plane in an instant, just a blink, your body completely leaving you, and you feel yourself drifting in a vast and open void. There is complete and utter blackness. You can feel nothing but this cool and somewhat smooth, soothing uh, embrace as it covers around you. You're sinking, you're sinking, you're sinking, and finally you find yourself... You find yourself anchored somewhere deep, deep below. You have a very long rest where you are completely and, and utterly unconscious, but you both come to around the same time. Logan, I closed my eyes for when you said that, and I think you almost hypnotized me to sleep. I know. It was some good ASMR. It was like, it was like the actual thing that they say. It's like you're sinking. It's dark. You're, it's soothing. You're falling. <laughs> Jonathan, you find yourself... Hold on, actually, I need to get something a little bit different. Song? It might be. I need something a little more mystical and foreboding. Trying. Between Music's Aquasonic Breaking the Surface dot MP. I want, alone. I want a song like when you walk in, like, in, onto that first cliff in Breath of the Wild and you see like the whole fucking kingdom. I sure hope you got permission from Aquasonic to play this song, No-Go. Eh, sue me. Speaking of Aquasonic, let's put on Aqualung. This is actually rad as hell. You awaken to find yourselves nestled against a large and furry object. The bear that you had uh, saved before. This That evilish and malicious looking glow in its eyes disappeared as it cradles around you guys in a sleeping motion. You think at first that you might be in the middle of an icy cave, but looking out again, you realize no... Uh, that's impossible, as all surrounding you seems to be this heavy sheet of water. You are under the ocean, but don't feel like you're drowning. There's a man uh, across uh, maybe, maybe 10 feet away from you on the ground uh, with a large chain uh, to his leg where an anchor is on the other side, and he's just taking a massive rock and bashing it repeatedly against the chain, trying to break himself out. Uh, I think Mayrock is probably the first one to speak because uh, after he gets him from his spooning position with Vinny... I was going to say, Mayrock, are we, we just course, woke up? Yeah. Are we spooning? Yeah, okay. I'm the little spoon. You're also though. healed. Completely. Wait, wait, are you big spoon or little spoon? No, I'm little spoon, for sure. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, I came in I came in after you, so that does kind of make sense. Yeah, and you know, like, Mayrock's a big guy, but, like, big guys deserve cuddles, too, you know? And I'm being spooned by the bear. Right. Right. We've got like we a... had we we were in a cuddle pile, um, yeah. big old mammal pile. Uh, yeah, but Mayrock, the bear who uh, has a moment here 
Um, I just I want to take a moment to sort of like really reflect on the fact that he is in uh, incredible awe when he finally does pull himself up to his feet, having kind of like that old man, you know, hands on knees for a quick second to, you know, pause halfway as he gets up, just stares out at this vast underwater landscape and the the frozen wreckage beyond, uh, jaw just agape and shocked, and looks back to uh, to Jonathan and just says. I don't know if you're real, but if you are, are we in a searing right now? No. Oh, you're awake. Good. Is Ugh. is the bear awake? I need to know. And if bear so, can we get some, some bear foley work? Sleeping gently. I'm not going to wake a sleeping bear. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'll die. Huh? You worried about that? Okay, come on, up and at him. He, uh, you can see him clap his hands at the bear, uh, and it shuffles itself uh, awake, looking at you guys with a uh, a very a very calm and gentle looking demeanor, and it shuffles its way over towards uh, to the man and snuggles up against him. Oh, that's a good boy. I have oh, you lost. Are. A large part of my uh, preparedness for this coming in. I'm sorry, who are you? Me? My name is Wiccan. If I had to guess, you must be the person who fixed the searing. As the ritual is able to continue from there. Fixed? Uh, successfully fixed, you mean? Yes, successfully fixed. Though, I'm still in the same situation I was before. Pinned down here on the bottom of the ocean surface, waiting for help. Wicked, I thought the this... wizards would have pulled me out weeks ago. Don't take this the wrong way. I thought your body outside there was a corpse. What are you talking about? At the the circle of stones outside, there was a there was a body there. It seems to have vanished within the last twenty four hours, uh, based on no ghost description. But when we had first what? arrived, it wasn't just an empty location. Does... Does this guy look like Mayrock? Like, does he have the tattoos and shit? He does not have the tattoos, but you can identify that he uh, he, he is wearing very light-looking armor. Uh, he is... Because I know the corpse looked a lot like Mayrock. Was one, one of, like, the only defining trait about it. Yeah, right. the, you can see that he's wearing a lot of the same wear, that kind of very light-looking leather strap. Uh, he does have a number of tattoos. It's just that his are different. Uh, all along the, the left side of his sleeve, you can see that there are words that basically just roughly translate to uh, um, one, one Life, uh, Copycat, uh, and one in particular that stands out to you is actually a name, Yorm. Well, let so, me say, Wiccan, I uh, screwed the pooch on the ritual, as they say. I I thought the body outside there was yours, and I had honored it before I started the ritual. He He's looking at you a minute, a little bit flabbergasted. Huh. I, I think that's something that we'll have to deal with later. Right now, why don't you introduce yourselves? Who are you? You must got in here. One of you must be a mental, huh? Uh, that... who's, he, who's he looking at when he like says that? He's looking between the two of you. Oh. Uh, I look to John first to see if he wants to jump in to say anything before I do. Hi. Yes. Quick question. Um. What? Where? What is going on? I have not followed any of this conversation. Okay. I don't understand. All right. But... Calm down. I'll give you the. Uh... If something must have happened for you to come here that I don't entirely understand, as, yes, you're in a searing. Specifically, wherein Jorm takes the water. What, what I, is a... You don't know of Jorm? I, I don't know of a searing, my guy. A searing, right. How did you I'm get not, here? I'm not the Mandalhar. I point to, I point to uh, Mayrock. He's... Okay, your okay. The, your magic man. I'm I'll, I'm. I'll take this from the top so that you at least know what's going on. A searing is a complicated ritual. It's a process by which 
Mantelhorn, like I, or him, are sent back into the past through the eyes of the heroes. We repeat their legends as they would do themselves, and attempt to succeed, hopefully, bringing back blessings. My village needed rain. I've been gone weeks now. Mayrock, why didn't you ever tell me that's what a handlebar does? Well, that's a drang handlebar, and that means that I've never stepped into sort of the next step of this process. Uh, you remember Alan, who was a Godai. This whole realm um, is really their domain. You know, the Godai don't believe the Mandalhar should be trifling with things like this, and for the most part, you have to be raised from birth to do one very specific tale, and there aren't that many left. I'm sort of an odd jobsman. Uh, I'm sorry, is this place real? And Mayrock is just like looking around, like bouncing up on his, his toes, just like a, a kid in a candy store, so excited. He cups his hands to his mouth, and he, he just calls out like, Hello! Hello! Mayrock, May you're, you're not dead, Mayrock. You... Go ahead. Sorry. We're, we're, not, we're not dead. No, of course we're not dead. There's no grand feasting hall. The gods aren't here to bear witness to our glory. But this is close. I hope... I hope you're not dead. I used my last healing potions on you. I haven't got a damn thing left been drinking the things at this point. Sorry. Also, uh, I guess we should introduce ourselves. I'm Jonathan. Um, I rode a bear through a portal to come save this guy. Rode because... your bear, I assume. Why would you think it's my bear? You well, saw us I... fight the bear. I mean, Wiccan's bear. Oh Not yeah, you bear. missed the end of the whole thing. Uh, dog uh, saved us all. I jumped on the bear. Rode the bear. You kind of... I'm sure you could piece most of it together. Not my bear. You guys have been asleep for a while now. How long is a while? Well, in a searing, time can travel differently than it would in the real world, but if I had to say, a couple days? I turn to John and say, you know, I wasn't expecting uh, Boros to... Russia search party for us, but a couple days probably means we're on our own here. Well, don't take they... don't take too much stock in it. Like I said, inside the searing, things travel various different, strange, odd times. It could be that it's been three seconds out there, three days in here. It could be one for one. Hard to say. Oh, so it's been three days here. So we we could be fine. Then maybe they're. I don't exactly maybe... have a watch on me. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I have a question. Is the water around us moving, or is it completely frozen still? No, actually, you can see the the slightest uh, the, the slightest impression of fish as they start flittering around in this uh, this underwater cavern. You can see all around. There seems to be the ruins of things. <laughs> there seems to be the ruins of things all around you from where there is a s sunken soldiers in full metal armor, their banners being thrust down here, an entire long ship that's been split from aft to hull or aft to uh, four. Okay. Uh, there seems to be some various ruins that have sunken down uh, from, from the cliff side here. You can see that they're probably of elven, uh, not elven make, sorry. Uh, they're, they're probably of uh, ancient Thrally make. So, uh, thanks this place for... Is a treasure trove. Thanks for healing us. Uh, I didn't catch your name. Like I said, my name's Wiccan. But Fair there's right. a problem here. A searing, for all intents and purposes, is usually meant for one person. Magic is indiscriminate. So, if you'll excuse me, uh, he... He's going to shuffle along the ground. Uh, you can see that he's probably exactly 30 feet away from you all, right? Mm-hmm. And as he does so, the rest of you are dragged with him. 
I'd like to imagine that uh, at one point in time before he started to walk away, Mayrock had knelt down next to the water where there's fish swimming around and put his hand, just a finger, into the frigid ice-cold water just to see if they would respond. And it's his body kind of being dragged along in that kneeling position behind them like a weird video game glitch. Yeah, you're you're reaching out, trying to uh, try trying to touch the schools of fish that they're trying to pass by. They oddly seem to pay absolutely no attention to you. But the moment that that uh, the moment that uh, Wiccan moves, uh, you can see ripples of the water begin to form around him. The schools quickly rush away, but he has in his hands, from what we're able to see, uh, two blue tethers that connect him to you, and he gives them a slight yank. And it seems that you are very much physically connected. So much for the one person thing. Seems that our presence here may have disrupted things more than expected. Am I I've tethered? Not I've not exactly seen anything like this myself before, but I'll be honest with you. The weeks alone have made me welcome for the company. So, Mayrock, Jonathan, it's a pleasure. But I'd very much like to get the hell out of here. Of course, then you are welcome to accompany us as we continue this hearing. Or am I uh, tethered? Yeah, you are tethered. Okay. Uh, funny bit that. He, uh, motions to the chain that attaches him to an anchor. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Not, not, not the most mobile type right now. We'll discuss that in just a moment. Before we get too far into this, um, you had mentioned this particular searing is for the, the mythology of, of Takes the Water. Can you tell me more about that? Yorm Takes the Water? Correct. Sure. Fine. I'm sure that many of you know of Yorm the Snake. Famous adventurer of the Second Age. No. <sighs> well, consider him me. I know everything that there is to know about Yorm the Snake. I am his Mantelha, taught from the very beginning to deal with the sea creatures, that of the coast, diving down deep below the world's surface. But right now, the legend of Yorm takes the water is quite simple. Typh... Ah, sorry. Orc... Orkan, king of, king of the deep, had loosed typhoons across the entirety of the uh, of the ocean of the coast, lashing out against Yorm's village. So his elders sent him to deal with the problem. I had done and dealt with the normal things, uh, getting my boat, taking my ship, gathering my crew, letting it be sunk by the uh, by the serpents. Unfortunately, it seems that Yorm had a plan to walk across the the, the ocean surface. He sunk himself by anchor and chain down to the abyss. I did the same, but Yorn might have been a touch stronger than I was. That's incredible. If the legend is to be correct, he continues on to the, to the nameless city, goes to meet Orkin himself, and deals with this whole affair. Ugh. But it's been nothing but trouble. The serpent's too strong. The storm's too deadly. Hell, Orkin came by longship. I had to come by schooner. Wait, I... This is... This is so unreal. I, I just need a moment, and uh, again, Mayrock will kind of... Take your time. ...pace up and down the, the ice coast for a split second, never going more than the, the tether allows, pulling taut each time. And then uh, spins around and says, Jonathan Wiccan, so... If you breathe in right now, you taste that air, are we... I don't know if this is a memory or if this is genuinely the second age. Are we in a memory or a place between? Or is this the past? Wiccan offers you a, uh, a wide smile, curling himself up by the, uh, the knees as he looks around the place himself. You never do truly get tired of it, do you? It's no. the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Not every person gets to see a searing in their life. I'd like to survive it, if I could. This would be my third. I think during this time, uh, while, while Mayrock's looking around, Jonathan's also looking around, but he's, like, writing down everything he sees. 
Okay, Jonathan. Uh, surrounding you, you can see that the uh, the ruins of the ship are relatively nearby. Uh, there seems to be a sunken, uh, what seems to be like a little paddle boat. Uh, the remains of an absolutely massive anchor, uh, the desiccated corpse of an animal, and what seems to be a strange, like, cloth-wrapped package. Uh, can I investigate that package? Sure, but give me just a moment. Okay. He's looking out, gawking at the sea, uh, standing with Mayrock, and you can still see that glimmer of joy in, uh, Wiccan's eyes as he looks at it at all. I enjoy my home. Very much so. But some experiences you don't just you don't get in a lifetime. We are the privileged few. I have spent the last ten years ferrying whiskey and sitting at feasting halls and being a stand in for modern lords. You know, the idea of being even for a moment, walking in the footsteps of somebody from the first to the second age, I, I've, I couldn't imagine that. And a day ago, I had a quest to drink some alcohol in a circle, and I did that, and I was ready to die happy. And uh, now, this place, Wiccan, uh, sorry, Yorn, how, how does it work? If we change things here, does it change the past, the present? Is this a tale? Is it a, a memory? What is this? You're asking a lot of questions. I think that there's a lot of goat eye that'd be very uh, angry that you did. The searing. Right. What is it really? As we said, as I said, we can step back through the eyes of the old people, but are we them? Are they... Is this just a recreation of the world as it was? Is this some sort of time travel or teleporting? I... To tell you the truth, I don't know. I don't think I was ever equipped to know, simply that it's something that we needed to do. Something important, of course. But... Change things. Well, if you want my experience on it... The world of stories is vague. You know that thing that they tell you where if you so much as wiggle your finger in the wrong way than the story than the story that things would go wrong? I do. Well, it's all hogwash. <laughs> that is good to know. The major the major facts are the things that you need to get right. Make sure that you 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 Go by the idea of the action rather than the action itself, but we are every bit as human as we were before. We don't, we can't copy the heroes. We're not directly in their shoes, and for that matter, I don't know if anyone would be able to see you all. They re they'll react as though we are Yorm, and Yorm was speaking to them, and whether or not that it's just by pure happenstance of us being sent back and us acting in the way that we are, that that's how the heroes acted. Or if we have the wiggle room, I, I don't know. I think about it sometimes. The world out there, if you'll permit me just a moment, is filth. It is fighting birds in the bloody snow for political mares squabbling over one another for territory as the fog's getting closer and closer. If I could live here, I would. Yorn, when we get out of this place, I have so many questions for you. But now is not the time, you're right. I disagree. Perhaps it's a differing perspective between a Mantelhar and Drang Mantelhar. But you'll see in a little bit of time. Let's go forwards. Jonathan, what are you up to? Jonathan, so you're inspecting the package? Yeah, guys, I found a box. Uh, Yorm mentions, well, uh, I'm just gonna use Wiccan. Wiccan mentions, uh, yeah, I'd seen it, but, uh, and tries to pull himself over towards the box, and you can see that he's not able to reach it, but with your little 30-foot tether from him, you can. Okay. 
Uh, you go over to the reach by the box. You can see that it's a massive crate that must have been sunk down to the bottom. It seems to be some sort of smuggler's package. Inside, you find tools. Long, slender iron tools, but most of them have uh, rusted away for the better part. In it, you find a single needle, uh, but seems to be of an odd metal. And it didn't rust? Didn't rust. And it seems to be pretty sturdy. Okay, I'll I'll take that. I guess. Take a meteoric needle. A meteoric needle. Uh, hey, uh, Yorn, Wiccan, uh, whatever you want me to call you. Uh, are you like locked to the chain or? He yanks at his foot, and you can see that there is a a definite locking mechanism on it. He was sunk to the bottom. I hold up the needle. You think this might help? Maybe. Any of you any good picks? I'm not terrible. Do you want to give it a shot? I'll trade you for your, uh, what is it? Scroll of, uh, sending or whatever. Oh, by all means. Certainly. I nice. Toss him the useless scroll. The scroll seems to float for a minute, as you can see it uh, starting to daringly make its way upwards, as it is a very light object, and Jonathan, you have to scramble to catch it. Uh, Mirok, his eyes are fucking twinkling like he's a boy in an anime. This is the greatest thing. I, I just, I just kind of hand him the needle. <laughs> Mine doesn't have as much uh, showmanship, I guess. I mean, you could throw out, like, a little dart at him. Yeah, I could. Uh, or I could hand fish it to him. Fish comes by, like eats person. it. Yeah. yeah, like, I could hand it to him. <laughs> like, literally, like fish, person. one arm just swims by, goal. Alrighty, pick the lock. Before we do that, uh, there's nothing in the stories about you taking it with... I mean, I don't know much, again, about the legends of Yorn, but there's something about the idea of him uh, standing in diplomatic uh, before Orkhan, still tethered to the anchor itself. Would you prefer I simply carry it? <sighs> Nothing in the legends about anything like that. That's the thing about the legends. They're impressively vague at times. So little details. Believe it or not, this is one of the more explored ones. Yeah, while he's talking, then I'll, I'll pop on down again to one knee and, and give it my best. It's not very good, because I am uh, I am pretty starstruck at the moment. You'll take a minus two, because it's inappropriate material, but you're able to pop the uh, the rusted lock, and he uh, you can see the, the massive, like, gaping red wound where the anchor was before, but he quickly hides it underneath the... Uh, uh, by sliding down his pants and stretches with extreme vigor. Yes! Finally! Oh, it feels so good to move around. And then I... You're my saviors. Your arms. You are welcome. And then I pick up the anchor, and because of the, the strange weightlessness of the, the place that we're in, is it lighter than normal? Yep, it'd be half weight, uh, but it's also like a 100-pound anchor. Okay. Uh, I, I, again, heft it up as best I can, uh, and then I look to Jonathan and I say, you right now are in a story for heroes. I can pass by as a servant. That, of course, is Yorn himself. You might need to blend in. Do you... Do you think this would suffice for you as a weapon? And I hand him the chain with the anchor still equipped to it. Still tethered. I, uh... Jonathan gives a very nervous smile and says, oh, we, we can sure try. We... If he's they gonna... can even see us. I don't even know if yeah. they can be able to see us. He's going to uh, shake his head for a moment and be like... Something is off about this entire ordeal. Like I said, I've never seen a searing where multiple people have been inv involved. And this tether thing. He yanks at it again, giving Jonathan a light tug. <sighs> My question is why the bear isn't tethered. 
the uh, the bear hulks around. Uh, you can see it sniffing around one of the crashed shipwrecks with absolutely no tether whatsoever. Mm. I don't like... think we should diverge in any way. At least not yet. Or I least... don't know. Maybe uh, honey pot <laughs> honey pot's too smart for the uh, for the tether. Honey pot. Or yeah, Mr. I'm naming them pots if you prefer. HP for short. HP. Ooh. Why are we naming the bear? Well, we're taking the bear with us. He looks back at the bear and he looks back to you. Do you know how to talk to a bear? I know how to ride a bear. Yorn, you were the one that said this was no time for questions. And I agree with you. You're right, you're right. I did say that much. <sighs> Fine. He uh, halves himself up still a little bit. Uh, you can see he's kind of got a sway to his walk. My question also... Oh, shit. Fuck. Sorry. I took... Well, I have water breathing. I get it through my cloak. How are you breathing? I... Is this not air? No. No, this is not air at all. We're surrounded by water. We're, under... We're underneath the ocean. We're what? Yeah. Underneath the ocean. Yorm takes the water. You don't think he'd go to the sea? Oh, no. Whenever we Are talk, you... do we have, like, bubbles being exhaled, or is it just more ghost-like? It's more ghost-like. You can oh, see okay. that you're you're speaking, and, like, uh, you're able to breathe in and breathe out, but no water enters your mouth and oh, nothing like that. Either one would be super good. Uh, I say I don't know either, but it's important that we don't dwell upon the mistakes that are happening right now, lest the dream correct itself. Dream. I hope it's not a dream sometimes. I think I can <laughs> I can think of no better word to describe how I feel in this moment. The searing. I do. Better. It's a nightmare. Are you okay, Jonathan? You don't look so swell. I don't feel so swell. He's he's so like he's... he's got his hands on his knees, he's like hunched over and like sweating. He gives a smirk. Seasick? Yeah, let's go with that. Maybe that'll maybe that'll uh at least keep me some face. Is it well a fear of the ocean? Mayrock, you gotta do this right in front of Yorn. Well, I'm just trying to figure out precisely if that's the case what you could possibly be afraid of. I mean, is it the normal fear of, of the sea that you might sink to the bottom? I I don't know. I it's deep, it's dark. Uh -huh. It's suffocating. Well, it's neither suffocating nor dark here in the moment. You're right. We are just on the right. surface. It's probably bad to mention that we crossed the abyss. <laughs> why did you do it? I'm I'm not totally sure why I did. I just felt like honesty was the best policy. Was that was that wrong? Jonathan throws up. It drifts it upwards through the water. Oh, that's disgusting! Oh, no. Oh. Jonathan, when did you eat a leaf? I... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you guys are too much. Alright. Well, let's get a move on. If we don't have any more distractions, then we won't need to worry about, uh... Too many problems. Another body has appeared. <laughs> uh, Fish, you felt yourself being pulled and stretched on all sides by odd eldritch arms, trying to peel away your skin and flesh. You're going to take four damage uh, as they as they're trying to claw at you and pull you, but. The soon as as soon as you feel something again, you're shunted back into a very familiar environment, upside down, but still floating as you feel yourself in your natural habitat at the bottom of the sea. Nice. Well, oh, okay. okay. Two questions. One, does the they have no problem breathing underwater apply to me? No. Well, n no, for other reasons. Well. <laughs> Uh, no, because 
I can, I am only amphibious if I am in shark form. Then, then yes, you, you feel yourself, you're, you're struggling to breathe. Okay, yeah, then she immediately changes. So she's half shark. So you all see fish pop, like, basically pop her way out of a portal. Uh, immediately, uh, you can see she shapeshifts into this strange shark thing. Ah, I roll initiative! I feel, I feel like, uh, yeah, she, she is underwater, she panics, her uh, first response is just to immediately shift into shark. Um, I, and then she looks anchor. over. Yeah, she looks over and sees this this group of friends uh, ready to Hello. attack her. And I, I think her, her eyes get really big. Um, and then she shifts back quickly for a second and just does the, like, the, like, yeah, please do not signs as much as possible with her hands. And then she changes back because she can't breathe. Wait. Um, Why are you a shark? Oh, my God. That shark's disguising itself as Nixie. Um, or it's actually does... Nixie. Nixie. So try to speak. Can I speak under the water? Yeah, you. Though okay. it's a little harder to speak common than you would imagine. Uh, they're yeah, still able to sure. hear you. Aquan is easy as shit. Yeah. Okay. Um. So she goes. Uh. I, oh, oh. What does my voice sound like underwater? Am I like those mermaids that like? They sound really gross above water, and then they kind of get like nice. an echo to it. Oh, you know what? I love that. Can you do like a like a sultry mermaid voice for the rest of your character when you're underwater? Yeah, it's like your normal voice, but with more blub blub blub. Yeah, <laughs> I love that so much. Like, don't tell me how to play your character, but I love I love Nixie's like, yeah, this is fine voice, just being because like the air is the worst. Drying <laughs> out her throat and her vocal cords. Talking yeah, exactly. in glass so it adds flavor. <laughs> yeah, so she. <laughs> So she goes, what, uh, she goes, uh, don't, sh no, that's horrible. She's like, <laughs> you can give it a couple of attempts. Yeah, no, yeah, we, got, we got time. I'll get there eventually. Yeah. Um, she goes, it's me. <laughs> it's Nixie. Don't. <laughs> Do. friend, friend of yours? Well, Maybe. I think she should introduce herself. We'll give her a minute here. Yeah. Yeah. I Okay, so she goes through like a whole flurry of emotions. So first she's down there and she's like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm underwater. Uh, where am I? I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm a fish. And then she looks over and she's like, ah, I've been uncovered, but also I needed to breathe. So this is fine. Uh, I have to convince them that I'm a friend of that whole deal. And now she's like, oh, I made it. I did it. I did the thing all by myself and I'm not dead. And I only lost four hit points. And so now she, she takes a minute and she has like a little water dance. Where she's just like, she's she's like kicking out her, yeah, she's like kicking out her arms and legs because like she made it and she did it, and then Arm. and then like another emotion starts coming in because then she's like, ah, but I made it alone, and our other, our other three team members are still like way over there, and they can't help us. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. Is she floating like the sea creatures around us? Like she's actually yes, in water? Yes, she's, she's swimming. Standing? Okay, so you she's all are standing. standing. Okay, and no tether. <clears throat> no tether. She's not even tethered to Honey Pot. No, I did. I'm on my own journey now, bitches. Nixie, um, I can't tell you how happy we are to see you. Where's Boros, Astrid, Allen? Are they, are they elsewhere in here? Do we need to find them? They're not coming. That's pretty good. I think that's the one. <laughs> uh, they didn't think there was anything left to be found at the ruins, so. I found you by myself. Well, good job. Step the one. Companions aren't coming. The only companion who we need to come has come. So were you always a shark, or is that new to the magic world? Yeah, I was going to say, you were pretty uh, scurry about us not seeking your backstory in the Pivacuria. Is this... Are you multiple sea creatures, or just sharks, or what's the deal? Also, did you bring the magic book? Yeah, I thought about that while I was on, on my little break, and I was like, uh-oh. Um, you got it. I do have it? Okay. You have it. Um, yes, I have the book. Um, 
And you know what? I guess. Oh, okay. Oh man, I have so many questions. Is the book wet? What's the book? No. Deal? Awesome. The book. The book seems to function perfectly fine while underwater. Cool. Mad. Then what she'll do is she'll be like, "Look, we can talk about this a little bit more later." But and then she just like opens the book and like puts it on herself, uh, just so that they could see. Uh, oh my god, TMI! That's disgusting. <laughs> Um. Oh my God! What is my? What are the? What are the little fishy boys called? What is my fucking race? Lurkin. Thank you. Yeah. Uh. So uh, y'all can see that she's a lurkin, uh, and she goes, "No, I can't be other sea creatures." Yes. I'm glad you um, answered that before I asked. Because I, I was <laughs> gonna ask. You were really hoping for like upper half lobster, complete with claws. I imagine. Well, those exist. I I'm just not one of them. What kind of shark is Nixie? She is a... Le- are you like a lemon shark or something? A great white? Those are two completely different types of sharks. Did you say yeah, a lemon are, but shark? But she's like... She's wasn't little, her though. Dad, wasn't her dad like a hammerhead? Yeah. Yeah, I would be a lemon shark for sure. Yeah, she's Lit. a lemon. Was, like, Lit. They, they have that kind of rounded nose is the reason why I said both of them. Yeah. Also, the like, sharks are actually I'll grab her. Totally Give me yellow. a second. And I'll, I'll, I will throw her token on the thing and she can go and make the transformation for us. Yeah. Show us how beautiful she looks. Isn't that right? Beautiful. Oh, so tiny. <laughs> and she goes. What? <laughs> oh, man. man. That is oh, a. No, that she is a. Screams every sentence. Oh, you can kind of see that she's still wearing the coat in the sprite. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the. Yeah, it's the same. That's some sick photoshopping. It came like that. I found the I found a pirate shark photo. Oh, well, now you've ruined it. Oh, sorry. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> um, still, uh, Wiccan looks at uh Mayrock a little bit somberly and uh, offers a sorry about your friends. We weren't friends. Uh, we were acquaintances that nearly got us killed several times uh, there were two of them that I found myself fond of one is going to either go off and become a corpse or a hero and the other one is standing <laughs> before us ah, well, uh, fair enough thank you All right, Nixie uh, as I introduced before my name is Wiccan I'm the mantle hall of Yorm we are in Yorm takes the water and we have to uh, hopefully deal with the king o- Ocran. Or can sorry, <laughs> Nixie. Have you ever read the uh, the Little Mermaid? Uh, yes, but I'm offended that you asked. That, that's look. It's not a racist thing. That's what we're. This is what we're doing. <laughs> we're doing the Little Mermaid. Under the sea. Okay. All right. I'm with it. I got it. All right. So why are we hanging around here? No reason now, I guess. Shall we get on with it? I point the book at Honeypot. It doesn't give you anything. It's a bear. What does it say? Does it not even it gives say you, it's a bear? No, no, no. You know what? It gives you a it gives you a detail on the uh, the the Arcturus uh, Opus fucking uh, whatever the scientific name for a bear is. Uh, basically, it details that this specific kind of race of bear, uh, like a, gr- it's just called a great snow bear, is from the far north and wanders between the mist. They're extremely strong. Uh, they have uh, cold resistance, and uh, they're usually known for their absolutely fierce temperament. How are they? With You're children? reading this as Honeypot uh, nuzzles up next to you, uh, the nose, her nose pressing up against your. Uh, Oh yeah, is Honeypot a boy or a girl? Does it say that? Just said it's a girl. She, yeah. I'm just making sure. Uh, which means Wiccan called her Hoagie, and that was wrong. Mm-hmm. Very, very rude. He didn't have not have time to check the junk while being chained up. Fair. Alrighty, let's get a move on. I'm gonna climb right. aboard. I'm gonna climb aboard Honeypot. You saunter up to the bear. Uh, who seems to have absolutely no problems breathing. 
uh, and Wiccan will chime in that he did give the bear some water breathing uh, the best that he could. He he took a scrap of cloth from his cloak and tied it around its neck, but there's no telling how long it'll take. Be, is it it'll wearing take like a little? Is, is Honeypot wearing like a little neckerchief? Yes. Oh my god! It's you like, see, there's like this big concept. blue, yeah, like a blue bandana as it, it's nuzzling up, trying to nuzzle up against you, even even on its back. Nixie, you're swimming gracefully through the water, and you can see that there's just schools of fish all around. But this place strikes you with an odd sense of familiarity. Hmm. You can't quite pin it, though. Okay. Love that. Before right. we depart, um, I go over to Honey Pot and I give this bear just like some big full body, like, who's the best bear? Yes, you are! Bear rubs. And then I, I, I lean into its <laughs> ear uh, and I whisper very quietly, I don't know if you can speak common or if you can understand me, but I want you to know that if you are part of one of the uh, illusions of this place and you have any designs against us, I will cut off all four of your legs before I take your head. <laughs> and I stare at it like eye to eye contact the entire time and then I give him like a big who's a good bear Rob before I say you know alright John let's get going why, why is Mayrock so fair and funny <laughs> oh my god alrighty the, the bear looks like you just like you were telling a dog that it was stupid in a fun voice <laughs> <laughs> who's a little idiot who is I do that to my cats all the time. Who's a garbage little piece of shit, fuckball? Yes, you are. Mm. Uh, honey. Just, uh, you can see it makes these little pitter patter, uh, pitter patter motions as it starts trying to trot along. It's fine. I fucking let's, stare at it as it let's goes. Trot. Let's trot. Let's trot. Where we move on, I have two questions. Okay. Uh, one, um, I'm assuming I'm still at whatever like spell slots I was at before I jumped in the portal, but just yes. checking to see if anything changed. Okay, cool. Nope. Second of all, what's up with the trident? Because you had mentioned uh, not me Jonathan just Jonathan just has it. That's my only retcon. Okay. Is that Jonathan okay, cool. still has it? I pulled I pulled the trigger too early. Uh, cool, cool. Here's also another thing. The rune stone uh, still works. The the one that you use to to fuel nice. the portal. Uh, it's just that you use that day's charge. Mm, nice. You you cool. see normally you need to use magic to fuel the searings, almost like you have a very powerful artifact. Hmm. Mm. Almost like there's magic in the in the magic mm. stone. I would have never Ooh. even possibly conceived. <laughs> she puts it in her super double safe, uh, two zipper pocket insert on the like inside of her jacket you are lurking <laughs> right uh yes you'll be able to scout out this place and get a good read of it this should be familiar to you i hope wide ocean bottom of the sea i mean it does feel similar t- t- familiar you know yeah, I, know. I can I can look around. I'm a I'm a mental hive you on. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen I've seen the bottom of the ocean a couple of times now. What am it's I It's never looking? fun. <laughs> what do you mean it's always fun? Um Yeah, maybe maybe I... for those of you who can uh, swim. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I, that probably helps. Wiccan, can you not swim? No, of course not. Wiccan, I can swim. Yorn couldn't <laughs> swim, so they never taught me how to swim. Mm. I use steel boots. Yeah. Uh, motions, motions over. These would normally help you sink, but Yorm had other ideas. I was about to not use the anchor. Oh. Things can go astray. I've only had a searing go wrong once, and I plan to never have it happen again. What a... Uh... Strange what? spiritual quest you're on, but uh, I feel like knowing that you're going to the bottom of the ocean and not being ready uh, to swim uh, maybe isn't the best training advice. That's, yeah, welcome to the realm of the mantle. Huh? That's not how it's done. <laughs> yeah, like I, I learned in like small ponds and like <laughs> like a like a like a, a pretty a, maybe like a small lake. Uh, All right, can we get off this point of my childhood a little bit here? I, 
I'm starting right, to get a little right. self-conscious. Look, I'll scope out the area. Just what am I looking for? You'll know it. Just check on ahead, won't you? But I feel like a lot of people have just been saying that I'll know when the right time is for a lot of stuff. All right. Um, and she, uh, yeah, I'll do a little swimmy search. I'll do a little looks okay. around. You, you're going on ahead and something absolutely enraptures you and the group will follow along with you. Mm. So, shall I will continue on. Is that fine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I have this right. Drop this on this. Whoop. Immediately upon exiting the cavern, you see an absolutely fascinating sight. Nixie, you will immediately recognize this place, because even in the thousands of years that it has been, it seems to remain completely unchanged. You are in the nameless city, the capital of the Hlorkin people, somewhere mysterious at the bottom of the ocean. All around, ancient ruins that have been stolen and sunken away sit around you, making up this giant, rapturous-esque city. Lurking of all types, from low form to high form, swim in vast hordes, each person having something to offer to the city at large, all to offer it to the city's king, Orkin. You can see that there's this large, rap, rap, again, rapturous world surrounding you with a bioluminescent wildlife, these massive mountainous crags, and it seems like you are miles away from the surface of the ocean. There's a small trail leading towards the city. Um, I, I think that Nixie kind of stands there, uh, mouth agape for a moment, like the, uh, the photo that Steele posted. Um, and just kind of like soaks it in. She's feeling a lot of feelings. Like, um, this is this is like the place that this is she the, was talking to in like episode one with her dad, right? Like, this is the 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 homeland. Yeah, for all Harkin. Um, and I've never been there. Correct. I don't think you have. Yeah, no, but I was born you outside. you you have a very primordial feeling about it yeah, and sure. the way in the stories in which it was described to you and every detail down to the, cra the the single small crag down to the massive looming face and even the small bridge that lingers over the ravine you feel like you know the place because your dad just talked that much about it wow cool yeah she's having a little bit of a time i I didn't know this is. Wow. This we... is the Palace of Orkan. Okay, we've King of the on. Lurkin. This is where my my family's from, but I've never seen it in person before. That's rare. I deal with the Lurkin all the time. Again, you have to as part of my stories. But to hear of somebody who's been kept from the place. Why I heard it, it was like a breeding ground tripe deal. You know, every salmon knows where it was born. Yeah. I mean, it feels like I've been here. I've... Wow. Need a moment? Uh, um, yeah, um, no, I'm... I'm, I'm good. I'm uh, we can keep we can keep going. Uh, wow. Hey, Rock. I don't mean to make you drag me. Sorry about the tether. We'll have to be at least a little bit precarious about getting over these crags. I'm <laughs> happy to drag you. It's quite all right. You guys, you guys want to ride? Oh, can oh. Honeypot fit them? <clears throat> can Honeypot climb? I mean, Honeypot can like. Probably do pretty good on some crags. Okay, but like... On the bear. Uh, there's also <laughs> only one of us who can't swim, right? Why don't, why don't you two just, like, swim over them? Because we're all tethered. We could all be on this bear. Why? I thought we were already all on this bear. 
Can I see the tethers? No, not at all. What do you mean? So, wait, wait, from wait. what... You don't... You don't see the... The blue, like, chainy thingy? He's referring to <laughs> this right here, and I grab the blue chain, kind of connecting me, and I, you know, jangle it up and down a, a couple times so she can see. Does it watch... Just... You, you, oh, yeah. you, you see nothing. What you see okay. is you see Mayrox moving his hand, and in response, you'll see uh, Wiccan's hand move up and down. Wait, are we chained by the arms? Yeah, sure, why not? No, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no, this changes a very important perspective. <laughs> I thought we were tugging like each other, like we were all on the fucking. No, no, no. Let's see my arms. Out. That's, uh, that, that's actually important. Manacles. It's by the arm. Yeah. Okay. So, so he's like tugging. He's dangling his arm, and it's like tugging Wiccan's arm. Is it is it manacles on like the left and right, or is it just one hand? And if so, which one? Uh, hmm. all of our left arms. Be like one to each of uh you can see on wiccan's left hand what seems to be a very intricate set of like tattoos right uh mm. the, it seems to be that unlike all the rest of the tattoos on his body this set of tattoos are all written in aquian it is wrapped around his left wrist just around the border of that tattoo and of course he has like uh, something in his palm Okay, but where's it on the rest of us? Left hand. Okay. Same left, place. Left for every hand. every single person. It is both of you are connected to Wiccan, and so there's two lines from Wiccan. Okay, okay. Cool. So it is so it is Jonathan to Wiccan to Mayrock. There is no three way there. Okay, so I will not pull Mayrock, and Mayrock will not pull me. Yeah. No, but if you but if you pulled Wiccan hard enough, it would pull you. <laughs> Okay, cool. Can All I right. Ask just one more just clarifying. Very no, of course. Specific. Ask every fucking question. Okay. Every question. So then, okay, since they're both attached to his left hand, if Mayrock was like standing to the right of him, you know, like when you're do walking a dog and they get all chaotic and then you get like all trapped in the leash, does that happen? Or can they just kind of like walk normally and they can only feel the it? Can tether <laughs> rope around them? Yeah, like, does it get all tangled? Like, does his little feet trip when Mayrock goes to the right? Does his little it, like, feet trip? <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, like, is it all... I can't believe Wicked is 5-1 pocket prince. <laughs> <laughs> he trips on the way up the cliff face. What's, is the, what's the alternative? Like, it goes through him? I don't... Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. yeah, it, it does, it does. in fact. You, it seems to be physical for them, and you can see the ramifications of it, but okay. you cannot see the chain. It is okay. uh, magic. It, it, well, it is magical, but you, you're not able to see it with Mage Sight, so very odd. I like how he said the chain is magical. Like, this is some kind of fucking revelation to us. <laughs> yeah, I would have never guessed. Nice. Who would have fucking figured, man? <laughs> You know, like I, I, I see what you're talking about here. Can, I can, can Nikki I can talk see that you're moving each other, and I'm assuming you didn't choreograph this very complicated maneuver. But I cannot see this chain. We could, though. We I don't know. Perhaps Mayrock knows Yorm better than he says. Can Can Nixie touch it? Ooh, can I touch it? You swim straight through it. Okay, cool. just making sure we can't like. Tangle her into a web she can't <laughs> see. Just a mess of all of us getting wound up in blue chains. So, Nixie, if Orcon is either like your great 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 ancestor or is the great 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 ancestor of somebody in your family, what do you know about him? <laughs> oh. Knowledge um. history. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because let me say, your uh, shock and amazement at this place, even though I shared that not too long ago, you know, a place is just a place. You have no <laughs> fucking idea. Zero. Um, Zilch. Okay. Um, <laughs> Can't look. believe he told you all those stories and you, you gained nothing. <laughs> you, you weren't even paying attention. Well, how, like... How old is this guy? Oh, hundreds of years. Like he's, Thousands. he's he's not the same. Like, uh, 
No, like, of course, I don't know that much about him. This is... I don't think he was around when my father was here. Um, well, your know. father's father, or your father's father's father, for that matter. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, I couldn't be more help. Uh, okay. Maybe when we get in... Uh, oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I was never really around here. I mean learning about my history has been something I would like to do but I'm afraid I'm not very much help other than looking the bill I mean you it's never too late you know not everyone gets the opportunity to go into a searing well and you're also you don't needn't apologize for that. Not many people know about their great 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 ancestors either, regardless of whether they may have been kings or not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for all we know, Jonathan's great 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 grandfather might have been one of the first people to crawl out of the hole in the ground of the dwarf lands and is some kind of king of the elves now, but we don't see him expecting to prant through the forest. For all we know, uh, your grandfather, uh, could be, no, I had a, I had a joke coming about it being, like, the king down here. Hold um, on, hold on, see, I got you, I got you. Uh, uh Mayrock, maybe your grandfather, uh, uh, in, invented bears. No, my yeah. grandfather was yeah. Tanner, and he spent his life waist high in, in piss and shit. But you know, bears. bears. We're off. Arr. That was Arr. we. We weren't funny. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> um. While we're talking, are we like making our way through oh, some yeah. like crags and stuff? I hope we're yeah, not. No, 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 absolutely. You're you're climbing up around this. You can <laughs> see that there's coral and algae that cover around the uh, the surface floor, and you can see these massive hulking crabs. Each of them carries. Uh, carrying what seem to be these wooden pl pallets built out of old ship parts in this big assembly line headed straight towards the city where you can see that there's this half-completed chunk of the face, basically, and they're building on it. What the fuck? I'm gonna turn to Wiccan. That's his name, right? Yeah. Or Yorn. Yeah, as okay, soon cool. as you say Wiccan, I correct you and say Yorn, but you don't have to pay attention oh. to me. Oh, sorry. Uh, Yorn. Okay. In here, I'm Yorn. And outside, Wiccan. I prefer Wiccan. Gives you some sense of individuality. And whatever he might prefer is irrelevant because we are in here at this moment. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, Browns. well, you, um, <laughs> if you were to give me, like, an action plan in, like, one sentence for what we need to do now that we're here... What would that be? Uh, he, he just loses a long sigh. Cross the abyss. Find Orkan's palace. Slay him. Okay. Uh, let's go then. Yeah, let's Nothing. enter this city. There's yeah. a small problem. Oh no. You're just full of problems all the time, aren't you? I wonder if it's a problem we could swim through. Mayrock should understand this pretty well. Being a mantle is a problem. <laughs> it's one big puzzle that you have to constantly s piece together. <sighs> we don't know where the palace is. It's not in the city. It, the it's palace not... isn't in the city? You, no. That, all of those buildings, that's just... Oh, God. Memorial. Or... Uh, worship? Hard to say. Well, Yom you know didn't make it a point to study the people that he actually interacted with. God Which forbid, of course. Common. You know who's gonna know where the palace is? The people in the city? The people in the city. Nice. Go. Nyx goes for a high five. <laughs> Oh, hold on, wait a minute, we need a sound effect for it. <laughs> Got it, hold on. No, that's fucking dog shit, hold on. You're right. Uh, where is it? 
oh, underwater I... high you five. Have one, you have one sound effect. Why does it take you so long to find it? <laughs> I, you, I have one sound do effect. Do you know how many sound effects I actually have? He's he's got oh, the whispers. 60. And he's he's got the one where it's like uh you know the teleportation the wah, da, 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 that one that sounds like uh sta scat static. Okay, breaking stuff. I'm telling you, underwater high five dot mp3. Pirate loop. All right, all right, that's enough sound effects. That is please. too many. We're all very impressed. <laughs> Your uh, medals in the mail. Mayrock uh, pipes up and says, <laughs> "You know, most mental horror are content with the idea that if you simply walk the walk and talk the talk, you know, stroll forward like you're expected to be there, the world around you should shift and adapt to accommodate." I have never shared that exact same view. Um, it seems to me that the fact that we have you here, Nixie, um, is a prime opportunity for us to take a perhaps more intellectual approach to this whole thing. Well, I'm very smart and definitely don't have a minus one intelligence. This will go very well for us. Well, I wasn't I'm... accusing you of being smart. I was just saying that we've got a good <laughs> chance that if we need to ask for directions, they're less likely to be offended by you than us. I'd like he, to... he said you that he's me? smart. I'd like to ask around real quick. What's our traveling uh, like layout? So I'm on the bear. Did, You're did, on the bear. Did, did, across um, the crags, being towed play? slightly behind you would be Wiccan. Mayrock is probably next to him talking, and Nixie is like swimming just ahead of you. Oh no, Mayrock's taking the lead, hundred percent on point. No okay. question. Then, uh, then he's beside you then, because he doesn't have a choice in the matter. Okay. Is Fantastic. Wiccan on the bear with me? Because. I figured no. to get over the crest. Okay, no. All right. No. You, they, you, you all are climbing now. You've reached probably around this area of the bridge. Um, and you are entering into the city as you speak. But uh, any any last things that you want to talk about? Hey, Wiccan. Uh, quick question. Hmm. You know, uh, this is all really cool uh, going through... Uh, Legendville, uh, tra going uh, going along with the story of some really cool hero. Um, it is. You ever you ever think like maybe in your off time, you could I don't know, make make your own adventure. So off one day time. people. That's yeah, funny. One day, well, I'm a funny man. <laughs> you know, one day people may have to go through the legendary. Uh, underwater story of Wiccan as he, uh, I don't know, killed killed the the sea dragon. I don't. He, he, he. For the most part, you can tell he's a pretty conserved person. Uh, he's 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 pretty pretty rational, pretty pretty down to earth. Uh, but he loses his emotions in a moment as he uh he seems to be nodding along with you and what what was a um uh probably a pretended smile slowly begins to slip away from him uh and, and he just looks off uh, a little wistfully at the nameless capital that would be swell wouldn't it ah oh, well you know maybe maybe Ment later mental heart afforded adventures we are the person that we represent to be and every part you give every piece of yourself to the legend. You become one as them. Hmm. I don't think I would have acted like this, given a different chance, but I was always told, this is how Yorm speaks. This is how Yorm acts. They must have known Yorm pretty well. <sighs> Less well than they'd hoped. <laughs> Every legend that they told has been wrong, in some way or another, and yet still I have to fix it. Well, that's the thing about legends, they get passed around. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I'm, a, I'm a writer, and, you know, I'll make sure one day, uh, when, that I, when I'm writing the legend of uh, Wiccan, who <laughs> filled in for Yorm and... <laughs> and saved uh, the people trapped in the magic underwater world, uh, I think I'll I get invite, every detail right. I invite you to find a pen to write with down here. 
for now, why don't you put that uh, brilliant authored head of yours towards getting out of here, right? All righty, all righty. The gesture's not missed. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I have one more idea before we go in. Okay. All right, hit us. This is y'all's fucking scene. I've got jack shit at the <laughs> at the end of. <laughs> We're stalling so he doesn't have to. <laughs> at the end of of Wiccan's whole speech here, uh, I very quietly but loud enough for the group to hear just recite a little part of that oath of ash again uh, and i just say in that flicker of darkness we will once again be beings of myth lahayam i don't know what that means we walk, neither do i we walk the ashes in the pl- in the place of those before us all right, let's pass it over to. That's all very deep. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, so there's little fishies around here, right? <laughs> God, look at this fucking player world building we've got. That's such a great sentence. Hey, That's are there with... fish in the ocean? That's up there with "I'm not racist, but like I know the next sentence is going to be great." <laughs> <laughs> like there can't not be an amazing sentence. After okay, this. all right. Let's let's suspend our disbelief here for the moment and imagine. Let's say for- <laughs> and imagine there are there are some fishies around here, Nick. <laughs> I don't mean to step in at the GM here, but if there were some fishies, I'm really excited to see what your plan is. Okay, Nick, go ahead. <laughs> there's there's a, a, a school of sharks. Roll me a d20. There might be fish. Wait, they don't do that. Why did? Oh, nothing came up. Okay, I would, I would like to uh, ask the fishies um, <laughs> where the where the castle is. <laughs> Wait, you're not you're not just asking them nicely. You walk up to a fucking fishies and you cast be my, my friends. <laughs> yes, I say did be you my say friends. a flock of fishies? <laughs> You All right, know. you know what? I'm adding a creature named a fishy. There's no, there's no <laughs> way I can. It is this monkey-looking thing. What the fuck? What the fuck? No, 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 no! no. Hold, shut the fuck up! It's a, it's a halurkin where it has a a humanoid-looking face, but a, a the body of a long trout. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Seaman from the Dreamcast? What the fuck? Yeah, one hundred percent. That's a lesser <laughs> lurkin. They look like that. I wrote oh, that. No. There's octopus that have arms. <laughs> That's the worst. That's the worst. You're a monster. You. <laughs> That's gonna break. We're probably fucking piss myself. I can't <laughs> wait to hear this character voice. You go to one of the fishies, uh, these these lesser beings, these lesser lurkin. Uh, they, I believe, they're called like saltwater lurkin or whatever. Where they're they're usually just fish with a one humanoid feature or one humanoid face and like very low sentience. And you go and approach it and you ask, "Do you know where I could find the castle of Orkon?" <gasps> Orkon. <laughs> fuck, fuck me. Hold on. Orkin! <gasps> Don't say that name! You invite death on us all! Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not from here. Why? You're from here? You are uh, the full race one. Yes, I'm, I'm from here. Noble blood. But I'm not. I was raised outside of the city. That's wrong. All noble blood race here. It is wrong, which is why I came back. Oh, makes sense. The the nameless one, emperor of capital, he waits and bides. None know where he'll be. None except noble. The only one who could know. Excellent. I love that for me. Good. Thank you. We all Hold on. tribute Hold on. to Orkhan daily. He not slay us. What are what? What is everyone else hearing? 
Blah, 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah, damn it. That's it for sure. Um, what do you offer as tribute? I find shiniest rock. They braze onto large city. Small mm. decoration. Yes, part of greater whole. Good. Okay. Capital will become great. Thank you. You were very you helpful. Will dissuade the walking ones. Oh. Uh, Nyx looks down at her two feet that she still has in shark form. <laughs> she goes, uh, Me not a fan, noble. Goodbye, but never say name again. <laughs> I won't. You see his body as he just darts off in the direction of the city wait, trying to catch up wait, with his pack. Wait, before you leave. <laughs> what is your name? And your backstory. Fumb. <laughs> um, and so she turns back to her party and she goes. <laughs> There's a single tear in his eyes. He whips his head back. Fumb and fucking disappears into the sunset. <laughs> so I made a new best friend. His name is Fum. I'll find uh, something. We're not allowed to say the big bad name of the big the person we have to kill. Um, also, we have to bring shiny rocks that shine as a gift. <laughs> when we see, that, <laughs> see, that was a fit. Hold up. Hold up. I'll post the picture in a second. I just need to... How do I fucking post it? How do you post I don't know images? how... I tried a bunch yesterday and I couldn't, but I... No, it's a, it. it's a whole secret macro thing that I've created. Sorry, baby. Hang oh, on, I got, a, I got it for you. Is it the image... Slash image? Yo, I got it for you, baby. Don't even worry about it. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's fun! <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's our new recurring NPC, boys. Okay, real quick, no go. Go back, Fum's descendants will have like brought a gift. Do you guys know that Fum could not have ever possibly been predicted? No, no, no go. Hang on for a quick second here. I want to roll nature. I'd like to know what kind of fish that is and how long it lives for. It's a fishy. It lives for. Okay. Uh, it's going to live for a long time. Uh, most like, of the lesser lurk and do. They like live thousands for, of uh, years. No, 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 not that long. Uh, no, probably like, yes, for sure hundreds. thousands of years. Because he'll... No. He'll, but he'll, no. Uh, thousands. Oh, no. damn. We'll have, to, we'll have to meet his grandchildren later. Yeah. Tens of thousands. Thumb's children. Thumb yeah. and drum. Thumb <laughs> Jr. <laughs> well, won't that be fum? <laughs> that's less a recreation oh thank you everyone we're going on break fuck you <laughs> what, a, what a line to end it on thank you uh, all right y'all we're gonna go on break uh we'll take a 10 minute break from now it's 202 uh, we'll come back at 212 uh thank you for everyone who's been watching there's been a bunch of new people and keeping consistent viewers always nice to see um and yeah and i'm already gone see you goodbye i like the gremlin voice that came no 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 we we left already now you're just gonna drop the curtain on me hey stream i'm really sorry i don't know i don't know what button it is to get to the the other screen anymore so does this work let's find out no nope, try again <laughs> okay yeah yeah okay. we've done it all right see you in a few minutes everybody uh thanks for putting up with us
Oh, okay. All right, well, then we are back. <clears throat> okay, all right. Let me change the music. I didn't do that in the break. I have all of these cool, ethereal, kind of bopping soundtracks, but I really like to... Uh... Nope. <laughs> That's a sound. What? Bopping, twisting, pulling. You enter into the city to find that it seems to be an extremely populated area. Uh, lurking of all sorts seem to be dipping and diving out of these large standing homes built on top of each other in stacks. They usually build them in these circular patterns, all covered in moss and coral and bits, uh, in a very naturalistic sort of living style. But still, st other than that, you can see that there's entire islands that have been sunk down here with weights. In the far distance, you could see something that must have been a, a marvel of the modern world, uh, a, a great feat of engineering. This 10-story tall bell tower uh, that just, with these huge grasping arches like a god, stands looming in the distance. Fish dance around in swirls and mirth and joy as it seems like they're enjoying the festivities of decorating the place, each of them with these gemstones in their hands as they're plucking them into little uh, sockets in the streets or laying a tile or fixing a railing. There's a whole bustling marketplace beneath you, spread out with uh, floating merchandise held together by ropes and twine and net, where these lurking are all plying their trades with each other. Stand in the center of it all on an over uh, an overlooking bridge. You find a shiny rock. <laughs> nice. And then, and then some little like kid fish while like going by is like, "Hey, put my rock back! I just I just put it there. I just put it. What are you doing? I put the shiny rock back. Lady, you're kind of fucking stupid." <laughs> So mean to me. You're gonna invite the wrath of the gods if you don't put the rock back. What are you not god fearing? Okay, get. What are you doing here? I can't. All fish sound it. like this. I can't. <laughs> no, 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 All fish sound like this. The lost, sunken city of New York, Lantis. <laughs> get out of here, Bronx, yeah. Lantis. Hey, I'm swimming here. <laughs> oh no. This massive leviathan creature whips across from you guys, uh, just blasting past your faces as it goes into this big pirouette as it heads towards the giant rock face. Which part of that is human? Uh, no part of it. It is a sea leviathan. Oh, he's got like one big belly button though, right? You can see that it has a massive shell on its back, kind of like the ship that you saw before. Whoa! Yo, Nixie, that kind of reminds me of that ship we saw before. Uh, yeah, maybe it's my ship's great grandfather. That was Ooh. your ship? What the heck? Well, my dad's ship. Alright. I guess the best thing for us to do is break up and look for clues. I'll go this way. Yoink, yoink. <laughs> yeah, I, I turn and look at him really slowly and just kind of watch yeah, him walk we're, 30 we're, feet. We're all just kind of staring at him on yeah. that one. Ah. Uh, Did you want to try mm. that again, or...? Maybe we should go to the bar. Maybe we should let Nixie take the lead on this one. I don't know. I hate to say it, but I'm in the blind. Though. If there is anybody who can navigate an undersea bar, I think we're looking at her. I think you may have a uh, missed have a have an you. Mm, mm, I think you may have an incorrect idea of uh, how good at people I am. No, I mean you're the pirate queen type deal. I, I mean if you're, I mean I, your father was the shark on the ship, right? And that was your doing and calling to them. Listen, I get it. We uh, we're completely oh, on the same now page now. I get it. Yeah. Some kind of like yeah. sharks, and she yeah. Shark. yeah. When she had dived yeah. underwater, she had done some kind of like signal to them. 
Um, actually, uh, I wish, but I actually just like went underwater, and then they were there. And and there's I was no like, need to oh, be honest, Nixie. Hey, why? If if they had a ship, why weren't we just riding with them? Why'd we get our own? Okay, so it's like it, this is all very complicated. We don't have a lot of time, but just like technically, we have all the know, time in the world. Let okay, let's say so, Jonathan. You're a writer, right? Yeah. Okay. Were your parents writers? No. Okay, pretend they were. Okay. Would you want to just stay at home and keep writing their books with them for your entire life? Or would you go out and find your own story? Jonathan, I don't know my parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like my dad wasn't a writer, and that's about the best I can give you. I'm not <laughs> sure I have a mom, let's be honest. Okay, uh, yeah. Adventuring families get really complicated. I've been lucky. Um, yeah. Dixie, if the question was posed to me and you were asked if I had the option to just stay behind and do the family trade and stay with my family the entire life, my answer would have been yes. In a heartbeat. Was was your family trade being a handlebar? Uh, <laughs> I, I think my dad made horseshoes. Oh, that'd be lovely. Yeah. Noted. <laughs> So, um, you you, um, you didn't want to be with your pirate family, so you went and were a pirate? I want to, I want to have, I, okay, so I had this big goal of being a pirate of, or a captain of my own ship, um, and I already did that, and for some reason I'm down here with you. So you don't have I, to sound so like like I you, you could have been stuck with anyone but me I get it no oh no that um sorry I um look uh I'm here this place is beautiful uh I am glad I found you both you know what I'm feelings... excited to get back to my ship. The feelings mutual, Nixie. And speaking as somebody who just passed the hill on 30, I remember my rebellious teenage years. You don't have to answer to anything. We should get going for sure. Yeah, all right. Uh Is anyone staring at us like me riding a bear? <laughs> no, <laughs> oddly. you. In fact, Nixie is catching more glances. Yeah, oh, right. Uh, before, okay, wait. Before we head off i have something to tell you um everyone here thinks i'm a noble except for that fish that yelled at me for taking their rock they didn't notice um, why um, three i have um pure blood as you might call it <clears throat> anyway um so I might stand out a little bit, but it might get us some more information, but it also might get us in trouble. Nixie, you you do know I was I was kidding about the little mermaid bit before, right? Oh, uh yeah. You didn't, of course. You didn't have to yeah, go and literally... of course I did. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I knew I knew that. Yeah. Of course. So hmm. just to clarify, when you say they think I have royal blood, what you mean to say is they are a hundred percent correct. Mm. You know, sometimes it just be like that. Is your dad the king of the sea? Is your dad no. the king of the sea? No. Okay. Okay. I did want yeah. to say one more thing here. You know, Nixie, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, the incredible thing about this place is that with the world above, like I said, descending into war and the mists rolling past, the day the island is plunged into the darkness, I don't know how this city looks in the modern day, but we should find out. Oh, you want to come back and see if we leave a see if we leave a scratch on it? I'm saying that this might be a utopic refuge in the event that the Empire's wars come to us. Well, if you both find a way to breathe underwater, I'll take you up on it. That oh. being said, hmm. that gave me an idea. And I hmm. would like to, like, 
engrave my initials on a rock and like put it in on decorate the side of the Are you taking that kid's rock again? Pardon me? (laughs) Are you taking that kid's rock again? No, I'm taking a different rock. I just want to like leave a marker here to see if like if I ever come back, is it still there? No! (laughs) No, no, you find that there seems to be a a particularly weathered looking rock like it's been there for quite some time Uh, and you find that it is with a little bit of wiping, it is not a rock. It is a massive fist-sized ruby. Holy what, shit. What, what, what the fuck? <clears throat> no, but I want to take this. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, I would like to put that in, in. I would like to decorate the wall with it. You emblazon your initials onto it, or you just write uh, the runic symbol for fish. Perfect, yeah, perfect. And, and emblazon it back into the uh, into the stone siding. Oh my god, I just realized Nixie could go up to anyone anywhere in this area, in this entire fucking place, and just put both hands on either side of them, on like their head, and just dehydrate them. Yeah, I lethal, lethal damage. I dehydrate his brain. Oh no. Is that is that why you were kicked out of your kingdom, Nixie? Because you're a weapon of mass destruction? <laughs> Look, I wasn't kicked out of my kingdom. I never lived there. She's anyway. a dehydrator. So you've scratched your name into a ruby and set it into something. Yeah, it's I love later, that. obviously. If it is back. emblazoned at the top of a... Uh, you, you, you swim around and find a good spot for it, right? And you find yeah. that there is this massive, like, titanous-looking building, like a sunken cathedral, right? And just at the, uh, the head of the door... Uh, where where there used to be a, a sign, you find the perfect little spot right dead in the center, oh. and you pop. I love that. Okay. Titanus. Fuck you. Okay. Why is everybody please my language? Why can't I just have my charming nogoisms where I don't speak any fucking <laughs> sense? <and> nobody is. <laughs> I love hey, them. Hey, quick, quick question, Logan. What does emblazoned mean? Uh. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Turn out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I fucking to, thought. To 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 put something on something in yeah, a pronounced manner? Kind of. Close, right? enough. Close enough. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like a banner is emblazoned with a sigil? No. Let me ask you something. Fuck's a Game Boy. <laughs> Aaron Hansen. <laughs> okay. What are you guys doing in the city? You have the full expanse open to you. You see that there is a lower slum part of the city. Uh, There is a market district. You can see that there seems to be some places coming out of these like high, noble-looking houses. There is, of course, the giant face that serves as a massive monument in the center. Uh, You can even see some fish going up uh, and breaking the surface. I turn to Yorn, and I put a hand on his shoulder and say, You're the mantle of here, so what you say goes... But I need to be very clear. I think that if we wind up getting stuck here, if you're not successful, uh, at least half of us would be miserable. I need you know, you you're not... to make sure you're just following her lead for the moment. When it's time for Orcon, at that point in time, we'll need you front and center. But for now, just Don't I'm, back. I'm, more, than, I'm more than happy to leave, to leave the bulk of this to you. None of this was covered in the legends. All it says is that he crossed the abyss, entered into the palace after solving a puzzle, some sort of contraption type deal, and then fought the damn thing. That's it. Anyone getting a sense of deja vu? I do warn you against uh, marking anything and putting your name on it, though. I'll I'll keep that in mind. I'm not sure this is time travel. That's how how else are we going to know if it's time travel if we don't Yeah, exactly. We gotta test it. (sighs) What, what harm could one scratched ruby do? The knowledge of knowing that what you did could happen to the place. Her name's a noun. They'll never know. All right. All right. All I'm saying is that some things are better left unknown. On that note, right. is Fish a family name or an occupation like Baker? More like uh, my family. Yeah. Holy shit. I was joking. What? (laughs) (laughs) So your father, the shark, and you are the fish. What was your mother? 
The wave. The wave. Okay. All right, that one's pretty good. I'll that give you that one. Good. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you, no, when I actually, you grow I had a friend when I was growing up tell me that my name wasn't very good, and that I should come up with something a little bit punchier, maybe like with two syllables or something. Ooh. Uh, but I ended up, I, 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 I didn't choose the name. My parents wait, your name's already me. Nixie, right? It already has two syllables. Yeah, I mean the the fish, the other name, the there's a lot no, of no, no. names. I I get it. I'm just saying, like, who was the friend? Right. <gasps> was it Lek? Oh, it was, and I was just this weird guy. Uh, we we met in a pirating town one time. Well, this probably isn't the time for it. Noted. You probably should never let anybody tell you who to be, and who you are. Yeah, man. Yeah, I should take that advice more often. Yeah. Well, Mayrock, hit her with some more life advice. What else you got? Uh, when there's a fork in the road, always steal the fork. It can come in handy later. Ah, uh, <laughs> classic Mayrock. <laughs> How many times have you picked up a fork from the road? How many roads has a man walked down? And with this, we, we continue on into the city. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, if you're gonna sink, we, if, let's, if we're going to at least chat, where, where are we walking towards? Let's, let's pick you, a... If, if you sink to the bottom of the ocean, always bring two nets. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I was always told this. What, what, pick a cardinal direction, Nixie. North. north. Where does north take us? Okay, you're crossing the bridgeway to the north leading up towards the bell. Uh, there's this massive, like, overarching pathway that leads over the slummy-type area uh, and the market district. And you're just seeing that they're bustling in these uh, strange trades. You can see that fish, of course, are being actively traded, meals, things like that. But you can see these full plants that, like, they squeeze them. And you can see, like, little flecks of spice coming out from them. And they're snacking on these in the middle of the marketplace like they're succulent treats. You 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 wisp away a little bit further to see three big uh, catfish-looking boys uh, <laughs> tussling with this small guppy-looking thing down in the middle of the slum alleyways. But you can continue on towards the bell. Well, we can't we can't just leave them. I mean, they seem like they, you know, it's all it's all to do. These are uh, half Hlerkin, so they have a fish's form. Uh, basically, they, they're a combination of a person and a fish while not really e being either. They're the, I actually think I have them on speed. Yeah, here they are. Cool. So, Nixie, at some point in time, Jonathan is going to ask how you get a half Hlerkin. And I want you to know ahead of time, I don't want to be here for that conversation. I don't want to hear it. It's, well, it's when a fish I and a just lurking, said they fall in love, Mayrock. They, if they love Mayrock, they... Fish love? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I've had a goldfish before. Did it love you I don't, back? I, well, I don't probably think, not I don't if think he it kept did. it as a fucking pet. He didn't. Oh, did all goldfish love to be free? Yeah? Well, uh, can I ask you, how big did your goldfish get in your tiny little tank? Can we not get into goldfish rights right now? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Now's not the time to be debating fish rights. Literally Nixie them. with fucking fish jerky in her pocket. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I talk to the fish. I can tell their emotions. They say "fuck you." Yeah, throw an I entire mean, one in my mouth. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to know so much like the 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 rights of being like kept as a pet. I want to know Nixie's stance on like cannibalism. The better question so, is this: Fish we, eat fish. That's the thing. Do we even have to on. traverse hmm. further into the city for this? Can we simply not find any passer fish and and find out not only the name of the city but also the direction to the aforementioned abyss? Hold on, I'll cry. Let me let me tap on the shoulder of one of them walking by. That's like tapping on the glass. It's not. Wow, you really got to take it to a racial place. You really got to assume fish have shoulders. Maybe one of them. There's some of them are half people. Yeah, that's true. So you're just tapping on like a random passerby. 
Yeah, I'm like, excuse me, <laughs> pardon me. No. <laughs> can can you see me? No. What? <laughs> Wait a minute, I know I'm asking you. <laughs> Just staring dead straight in your eyes, deadpan. Uh, it seems to be like some sort of piranha-esque type fish as it's looking dead ahead at you. I turn I turn back to my cohorts. Uh, I just remembered I can't speak their language. Uh, and then it walks forwards. Jonathan, you're Jonathan, making me look bad it, in front of the Mandalhar. It passes straight through you and goes for uh, goes for Wiccan. What do, what does it feel like? You feel violated. <laughs> well, no, I didn't ask how it like. No, I, it, it feels, what is it the feels like the water. You can feel the water as it displaces itself around the creature, but you go. It goes through you entirely like it's a ghost. Oh, oh you're not the ghost. There, the oh, ghost. Uh, That's a good and question. of course. Uh, my Chad. man responds in Aquan. <laughs> Sounded like you were on reverse. You're <laughs> not. You're 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 not. <laughs> I, I, hate I hate that that's funny to you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's a great energy. <laughs> that is, that is some fucking is a... friend jokes. Oh, that, what do you mean? Have you never seen the face? No, I've never thing? seen it either. It's just that you should make it here and make me laugh. <laughs> that All wasn't right. even an end joke. Hello there, traveler. I can see that... I can see that you seem to be out of place in this sort of sorts. Could I potentially lead you the way? And he's talking to, um... He, he's talking to Wiccan. Wiccan's just looking at him and it responds. It's like, yes, if we could get any sort of directions towards the abyss, that would be swell. Sorry, Traveler. You will wish to go to the broken... To the, to the fucking... Oh, god damn it. All right, hold on, so... <laughs> I'm watching, a man, I'm watching a man unravel as he has a conversation with himself. Yeah, and I, I, I make eye contact with you, and like, as the conversation persists, I say, Is this how you would behave if you have come here to kill the king? Yes, very much so. Besides, I don't think I can kill him if I don't know where he is. Thank you. Uh, what would you say your name was? Isaiah. Okay. Isaiah. E Isaiah. Yes. <laughs> and uh, he trudges along. You can see this long, slender pole, uh, like a marble pillar that he's carrying over his shoulder. So we need to go to the wrecked ship. I didn't ask where that was. And I just told you to follow Fish's lead. Unless you want to remember the part of the book where Yorn, who after trekking across the water sunk, spent an hour asking for directions. Well, excuse me, but as far as I recognize, he approached me. What am I going to say? No? You could put a little flair onto it, yes. Ugh. Relax. This is your first time in a searing, isn't it? Isn't I it told your you. first time? It's my third time. Who were you before Yorn? I was Yorm. Yorm has many stories. He's Yorm the Snake. A fantastic, magnificent hero. Yorm has many unfinished stories, it sounds like. So it seems. Maybe we didn't study enough. Maybe they just didn't get written down. But let me tell you this. All that's important is that the major parts are there. It didn't say anything about him passing through the city. It didn't say anything about him knowing exactly where the thing was. So, we need to figure out where it is. It sounds like Save me. gifted the responsibility of acting like somebody who has more failures than successes, and to that extent they may have picked the right person for the job. Save me the sniveling drang mantle, huh? I know my job well enough. I've done it through- I've gone successfully through one searing. 
And they're like having a whole ass fight right now. Yeah, we got, yeah. We got we're like, like nose to nose. He's getting agitated. It's gibberish. A hundred percent. Hi, I would need my question in chat answered. Uh, why don't you why don't you verbally provide it for us? Hi. Okay. My name is Vinny. Uh, hi. Uh, if this world is based on stories uh, that have been told more than how the actual truth went down, does that mean? I can rewrite the story by doing Family Guy style cutaway gags. Are we in cutaway land? No, shut up. Okay. <laughs> this is like that time. <laughs> <laughs> I think the answer is yes, but we'd have to like get the whole ritual thing set up for it. So you're like you'd have to be like a really elaborate cutaway gag. Oh my god, enter enter a searing inside a Nixon. searing. Since our friend is so inclined on it, why don't you go ahead and lead the way? Oh, oh okay. Where are we going? Give me something. Um, she... Okay, first of all, just like on the map itself, this looks cool. <laughs> but, um, uh, okay, she's going to go off just down she's just gonna be like fine yeah i'll lead i'm great at this um and she's just gonna start like walking down like any random road um and she's gonna start looking for like where she can see it like groups of people collect in like is there like a town square is there like a tavern that we pass is there some kind of hall what's going on where's the action at well, uh, from what you're able to glance, you can see that there's a number of uh, the 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 half lurking and full full lurking like yourself seem to be all pirouetting their way up to the surface. Uh, but otherwise, there's a group that seems to be assembled over by the market square, and you can see two shark like. Uh, half lurk and uh, both just absolutely gnashing their teeth at each other uh, and seem like they're being ready to throw down. And there's a whole crowd that's assembled around them and seems to be uh, trading what seems to be sea seashells with each other in bets. Some things don't change, really. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, uh, you can see that uh, more of the... I think I call them freshwaters in the, in the lore cutaway. Yeah, they're freshwater lurking, which would be you, uh, all seem to be assembling in that massive building that you saw ahead. Uh, this sort of stacked and sunken island uh, that seems to have a theater built on top of it. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, that's where I would like to lead them. Okay. My people. I don't have a thing for the theater, so... Okay. Wait, do I? So unprepared. <clears throat> Let us Man, why don't you palette. suck my dick? My mind palace. Like, I know. Well, that's while he's doing that, uh, anyone you uh, travel know any inside. good sea shanties? I'll just use this map. It's fucking. You travel inside to see uh, what seems to be a massive splayed out assembly piece. Uh, all around this massive pit has been dug into the center of the island. Uh, there seem still seems to be like wooded floor for floorboards that circle around this area. And the whole place has been arranged as like a circular theater. Beautiful. Lights emanate out from these massive pieces of coral and uh, bioluminescent uh flora that have been placed inside of them and nobles of all sorts seems to be wearing uh rags and clothes uh very uncommon from what you're able to tell but those that do seem like they're sunken clothes from uh that have been taken mm -hmm. uh so you so you'd see like a pirate's wear uh there seems to be one that seems to have a very flashy blouse but like only the blouse and no pants on <laughs> Uh, and a number of the little shitlings, that's their name now, all seem to assemble with sticks and spears around this massive uh, spiral shell and are beginning to do some sort of service in front of it. Rituals. These are all being put on the map layer. I'm going to kill myself. I'm put myself on the map. Bam.
Yeah. Um, okay. So, is it everyone who is here? Are they all doing this ritual? No, uh, most of them are standing around in a circle surrounding this. So, this is the inside of the pit, right? So, so you mm-hmm. enter into the building. It is wooded floors in a circle. Uh, with all of these vast decorations, you can see some tattered banners, uh, but seems to be some algae that seems to be growing onto the side. But in the middle of the pit, it's been made out like a sand pit where there's this, th- this coral and the shell have been placed. The nobles stand outside of the pit on the wooden floorboards, looking in, gawking and watching this strange ritual as the fish, the half lurkin, stand in the middle and are all taking with spears in their hands. They're bowing down before the shell and bowing up, bowing down before the shell and bowing up. Uh, it seems to be like a show. Yeah. Um, can I? <laughs> okay, so my, th- okay. Because I would, I legitimately would like to, I feel like she would want to be respectful and like watch the show. <laughs> but I don't. Would you like to watch the show? Yeah, I would. Would the rest of you like to watch the show? I mean, I've got, a, I've got a job to do, but I know that I'm going to get outvoted here. <laughs> paint me a uh, Fire Emblem Fates watery word picture. This better Very be well. at least an Would hour. Would you go ahead and uh, fix the screen slightly higher up, please, so that we can look at our main character? A mermaid. So standing at bone. the head of the at the head of the shell now, uh, a, a fish swims out from it. His shadow being cast onto the uh, onto the audience, and they give a they give a slight clap now as the show has started to begin. Let me see if I get some good music. What do I got? I'll give it like a battle track. Why not? Um, Ganga. Nope. Mellow combat. Mellow combat. Berserker combat. I love this fucking song, man. I love this song. (laughs) Let me tell you the tale. Of our great hero, Akran, and this uh, this this Lurkin is covered head to toe in what seems to be gold-plated armor, a red skirt trailing behind him, and a massive golden trident in his hands. He 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 looks down with this strange hood made of uh, rope, tethered rope and shells, and draws his trident out across the crowd. And they, uh, you can see each of them li- light up and beam as the trident comes across us. The legend of Akran. I will tell you now. Akran, our savior, established the the capital so long ago. But believe me. And believe I, for he was but a man, a lurkin like ourselves. Akran was born in the darkest depths of the ocean, but still the influence of the walking ones touched. And he, uh, he jumps down from the shell in a, uh, in a, in a extravagant motion, his little feety feet pitter pattering across the ground. You hear uh, the echoes of, uh, of laughter among the crowd. The walking ones, so haughty, thought they could have both the land and the sea. Akran knew this was not just. He uh, echoes. He uh, walks over now, and you can see he's he's facing you all, and he uh, passes a look between you, uh, and shrivels up his nose at um. He shrivels up his nose at Wiccan, but continues on. <laughs> yes. Akran knew just what to do. Akran sunk to the farthest depths below the ocean, where not even light had touched, and where the squirming ones still dealt. And he spoke the tongue of the squirming ones, for Akran had known he was the knowledgeable one. Born in the same peace, he went to the crying ones and said, Look upon those who pitter-patter and squirm. What does one need to do to vanquish these beings? 
blah, blah, saunters over again, trying to address a better part of the crowd. They said to Akran, a deal must be made. A deal for your fins. <laughs> and there's just this, uh, oh, ah. Uh, uh, just, just this, this sound of incredulity from the crowd. Yes, Okran gave to these crawling ones his fiends and his gills. He sacrificed all that was good. But why did he do it? For us. And he jumps back onto the shell, swinging the trident around. Okran amassed a great army and vanquished those who dared to oppose him. The oceans became that of Akran's again, and the Sea King reigned supreme! Again, met by large cheers now as he starts jabbing at some of the fish, and you can see that they have these, um, these, these wooden, like, prosthetics that kind of look like feet. No. Oh. And, the, and you can see them as they, as they whine and they squeal as he actually stabs them with the trident. And uh, you can see, the, like, he punctures and you can see the little flesh, flash of blood come up from them and they squeal shit. and start what? running away. This guy's method. Yeah. <laughs> they, start, they, start, uh, they start running away. We give worship and tribute in Akran's name, so that the great depths still belong to our people. And let none do dare to oppose us. And he hurls the trident out into the crowd, and uh, it lands squarely uh, next to your head, Nixie. Alright, then I would like to take it. I was really it. hoping it was going to go through Mayrock. Like thrumming, thrumming into the, um, yeah, like basically it, it pierces straight through into a wooden pillar and all around you, the, the freshwater lurkins are going ape shit trying to grab at this thing. Uh, I, I also look at it and say, there's, how do I win it? There's time you want it? grabbing souvenirs later. Shut up. How do I get this? How do I get it? <laughs> well done. Uh, give me a strength check to pull it out. Shut up, A-Rock. <laughs> Shut up, idiot. No, no. Nixie, you're trying to yank at it with your one arm, p pulling and pulling, yeah. even in your in your form. But this the horde descends on this thing. Yeah. And you see that there seems to be like an eight-year-old fish as he flings himself up from the crowd with it in his hands. I got it! I got it! Uh, and you see something vicious as two massive shark men begin tearing into the, the poor kid's side and snatch it out from his hands. We should probably go, right? Tearing him with what? Uh, well, they bite into them. Him. Oh, no. From Jesus. either side. You just hear him go, ah! It's just, like vanish back into the bottom of the crowd. Oh my god. Prepare for 30 days and 30 nights of the stories of Akran! And there's just a big rousing cheer among the uh, among the lurkin, and he seems to go into a theater theatrical gambit as now all of these half lurkin actors uh, begin to replicate various events. And you get the feeling this is going to take a while. Yeah. Um, curious, those, uh, few lurking that ran off after they got bloodied, uh, do they, like, are they still gone? Are they running off? Or, like, did they come back? You can back? see that they are, they're, they're, they're limping outside of the, um, they're limping outside of the theater, uh, with another person just trying to apply a sponge over their wounds. But one, you can see his skin looks sickly pale, uh. And his eyes are already starting to glaze over. Holy shit. Uh, can I... I would like to go over to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eat myself around here. Ooh. Uh, hi. Uh, sorry. Uh, not to interrupt. Uh, Mercy! You look Mercy! The gods. Okay. Um, uh, and she's going to come up... Oh no, he's saying mercy? Ah, and Nick is like, no mercy for you, dehydrated! No! <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh, 
No, I like, fucking explode his brain. <laughs> I would really like to help. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> Looking through everything I own, I'm like, oh, I can snowball them. I can make a tiny stumble hole. I, hmm. Help. Uh, and the one that seems to be pumming them down in the sponge with the sponge oh. and trying to trying to staunch their bleeding. There's no help for these ones, miss. They're the one who took the Lord's the Lord's name in vain. They are sinners. Smited under his smited under his gaze. They have played their role and they have played it well. From now oh. only healing. So they were supposed to be killed? Hmm. Yes. The high preacher. He is more merciful than the others. Very few survive their punishments. We should be grateful for his mercy. Bless the golden one. Bless the golden one, yes. And so they just spoke out against the great one, or they... His name. Only the high preacher can say the Lord's name. Uh, it and, is sacred. And that's, that's the high preacher on the stage right now? Yes. Uh, his name, his name uh, was taken from him by the squirming ones. We are not supposed to say it. It's said to cause him great pain. Mm, of course. Thank you. Yes, of course. I will take care of these ones here. Your mercy, noble one, is, uh, is noted. Thank you. Mm. I feel so bad just to leave the hurdy one there. You can see him. He's like, uh, his, his gills just kind of flaring out as he's turning a, a, a shade of gray. Oh my God. The, the, the medic or what, how, what have you, uh, who, who's holding on to the supplies seems to, uh, just completely have given up on him. So he's like dying, dying. Yeah. He, he's bleeding out. Okay. Would it, uh, I guess it's not a spell. It's a spell-like ability. So would I have to speak to use dehydrate? Like, would I be able to just kind of be like, give him a little pat pat? Be like, goodbye, sweet, sweet summer child. You are going to dehydrate him? Are you putting him He's down? He's dying! <laughs> he said mercy! Ah, uh, yes. The most painless way to die. No, having all your water uh, extracted say, from your body. He didn't say mercy. The two that saw you approach basically flinched in your presence and cried for mercy. Oh, never he mind. Is, never mind, he, never mind. He is nothing right now. He is, oh. he is, he is just, a, he is literally a dying fish. Like, he is just still on the ground. He's turning gray. He's not moving. Well, then, she'll just give a little nod and she doesn't want to disturb anything too much. This is gonna go away. You're gonna let him die uh, slowly? That's even worse! You yeah, monster. I know it's worse! It's all awful! Everything is awful! You're Every monster sucks! Um, and she comes back over and she says, Okay, so, um, only the guy on the shell is allowed to say the Great One's name. Um... And the three that were stabbed were stabbed because they said the name before. Interesting. Hey, I want to try something. Where'd that trident go? Uh, those two angry fish have it. Mm, okay. You see them as they, uh, they're, they're very noticeable. They're two massive great whites as they saunter straight out of the theater, golden trident in hand, already making their way down to the marketplace. Uh, I'm going to jog over to them and drag the rest of the group with me if I can. <laughs> yeah, I'll come. Uh, and you have to, the other two have to. And I, yeah, I, have a choice. I stand mm. in front of one of them, assuming that they can't see me, right? Yeah, so they're walking to your back, so you like si slide your way in front of them, right? Correct. Yeah, just just if they like, partially move through me. They, you you're in front of them, 
and they walk straight through you. Okay. When they move through me, I try to put a hand on like the actual trident to see if I can move that, or if I'm completely ghostly to everything. You grab a hold on it of it. Fantastic. Then as one of them is carrying the trident and moves through me and can't see me, hand on the trident, I tilt it forward so that the jagged point part is facing directly into the person that's walking into it, and I hold it there. So basically you're trying to brace spear this man. Yeah, as he's walking forward, the trident just spears him in his own face. Okay, alright, he's walking with some force. I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, go ahead and give me a melee attack roll. Fantastic. And oh if you do the damage, it's 2d8+. plus. I apologize to anybody who's looking at the stream right now. I don't have my character sheet ready to go for an attack roll. So wait, wait, yes I do, I'm a liar. And you just popped it over to... Oh, right, to open your character sheet, yes. Yeah, I've worked mm. on it. Like a human that has to do things, mm -hmm. of course. I don't mean to be vulgar, and I and I, I especially don't mean to go off topic. I just <laughs> sat on my nuts. <laughs> There's nothing vulgar well, about that that happens, you know? That's just the so cost of doing business. I'm so fucking in pain. It's a horrible thing to have happen to yeah, me, man. you know? Uh. A kind and loving god would have fucking put those things inside where they can be protected. You like me! Oh, sure, yeah, rub basically. it in. What? What? Yeah. Honey, love you, you got not nuts know inside how... your body? Yeah, yeah that's where, that's where they're... Know how, like, genitals work? Yeah. They've got innies, but on the plus side, they also have, like, <laughs> if, if, like, I keep, I'm not gonna go jogging, right? But if I wanted to, I could, and it wouldn't be a big deal. Women would have testicles? Yeah. Oh my god. What do you god. think ovaries are? Do you, do you want this to be recorded for the world to see? Yeah, like, we can sit down she and give you, like... out of her ovaries? Okay, we yeah, can sit you know. down and give you, like, a do middle you... school, like, biology. You yeah, do you need balls. adults? Oh, yeah, where do you think the pee is stored? <laughs> <laughs> is pee stored in the balls? That's what I was getting at. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well... Moving on, people are dying. I look. <laughs> yeah, 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 we've gone off topic a lot. Stop sitting on your balls, and maybe it would solve it this hurt. problem. I'm not funny. Oh my god, there's a lot of users. Viewers. Holy. They're not actively watching, but I'm looking at the chat list. Holy shit. Wow. Hey, man, it's been a I good day. I just told, like, 30 people I'm sitting on my balls. Yeah, we had 18 earlier. Yeah, and I guess okay. now everybody knows that you don't know what overlays are. It doesn't detect you, so a 10 is definitely going to pass. Uh, so 2d8 plus strength. Gotta type that shit manually. So, you skewer him straight through the neck. He he is bleeding, and you can see that he, he he's coughing up, and his friend just looks at him like, Why did you trip on the trident? What the fuck? Uh, and the trident slips freely out of his grasp. I just stand there waiting for and his friend to pick it up. And he's just trying to hold and staunch the blood. Yeah, I just wait. Just wait for his friend to pick up the trident. Ugh. Ugh. His friend leans in to the wounded shark, snaps him directly in the neck, mm -hmm. uh, and just whips his body around in a fr in a barbaric frenzy. It's a fish eat fish world out there. No, offense. and uh, goes for the trident. Okay, same who's thing. Which now floating in the water. Yeah, no, same thing. When he goes to pick it up, I'll just grab it and jab it right into his face, too. No, you know what? Like, right into his stomach this time. Like, if, I, if a fish had a liver. Is this another unarmed? Okay. Straight through. He's not dead. No. He's not dead, but he's extremely wounded. That's fine. I imagine yeah. he probably drops the trident again. But you can I mean, barely yeah, see anything because you're now standing in a big cloud of blood that is formed around you. Ah, uh, Mayrock's preferred terrain. <laughs> Plus one to all roll. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a really good ranger archetype. Holy shit. Your preferred terrain. Yeah, man. It's just a <laughs> cloud of blood. knee deep in blood. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, no, I, I, he watches this in a very, like, detached kind of way. Um, like, the outcome of this is of no real, like, there's no stakes in it for him. Um, 
but he's just learning. And I imagine again at some point in time, like it's it's very clear that there are going to end up being other of these freshwater fish people who are going to be watching this and seeing these two, what are basically like shark Royal guard people um, being impaled by the same weapon that they had just like attacked the lower class with. You don't have to see anything uh, because just as quickly as you're, you're taking this thing away and you're moving out of the cloud, a whole swarm of those lesser fish that we talked about with the limbs descends upon the two corpses. Oh, fantastic. And it is just one fucking piranha frenzy. And it, it's a very quick reminder that the rules down here are much different than they are on the surface. Okay. I I don't take the spear away, but I do sort of, like, help push it out of the cloud a little bit. And then once it is successfully floated away and I've got people, like, all eyes are on it, uh, I will grab it with both hands and throw it into the sandy ground as hard as I can so it is impaled and poking up there. Okay. Ideally, into like part of the corpse of one of the ones that we have just killed. Yeah. What's what's the game plan here? Nothing. And then I rejoin the group, and I, I well, because only Nixie's the only one they can see, so I'm not trying to float it over to her. Okay. May, uh, Mayra, so, did you just... so the 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 you've impaled it into the ground. The fish are now all trying to try at it again. Their Wait. attention is on it. Merrick, do you just kill those two dudes for a trident? Well, I don't particularly care for the trident. Uh, I think Karma killed those two dudes, as you say. Those two guys. Yeah, um... Wh why? Well, you know, I thought this place was a utopia when we first got here, and uh, my opinions have been shattered somewhat since. Uh, if this is a... <laughs> If this is a uh, case of, of the lower class and the higher class killing one another, maybe we should be moving quicker than expected. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. I like it here, but I don't love it here. Yeah. I, I guess to answer your question directly, uh, Jonathan, it was I was trying to see how far the mythology goes. Uh, I was wasn't sure how if they were going to be falling to their knees and uh, worshiping a miracle. It seems that they've okay. basically not noticed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, or if it's just bloodlust all the way down. That was horrible to watch. It wasn't so bad. Like a mongoose in a snake show. How was Honeypot doing? Status report on Honeypot. Mm. Honeypot's just idling along. The fish are, are, are not looking at Honeypot. Are they swimming through Honeypot? And does Honeypot yes. enjoy it? <laughs> it's like being pet, but on the inside. Unknown? I'd, I'd say probably not. Probably doesn't enjoy it. Uh, however, Honeypot is being particularly good. Huh. So nice. Either way, I think we can all see why somebody came down here to kill Orkon. You think Orkon causes the people to be like this? I think any leader who says uh, death to those who dare speak my name, yeah, pretty good chance. Uh, that's fair. Hey guys, uh, just like, you know, you know, the nameless one, let's just... Let's not also get arrested while we're here, hey? Uh, <laughs> I don't think you realize we're ghosts. Oh, right. Yeah, I yeah, Mayra, go crazy. Mayra okay. just went up and, you know, kind of offed two gentlemen there. I don't think uh, saying saying some names are going to be the yeah, Nixie, uh, I'm, top of our worries. I'm sorry. But you I... should be careful. I saw you lunge for the spear, and I just wanted to see what might happen if that ended up being the case and it fell into your possession. Uh, hopefully this uh, is something that, yeah, we can all bear in mind as we continue. Again, I'd, yeah. I'd hate to feel guilty killing your great-great-grandfather or whatever. Yeah. You're missing a couple of greats there. Probably. Uh. Nixie, how old are you? Do you live, like, <laughs> Extremely rude. Human years? 
You're right. Wow. I should have. I should have. I should have done more. I should have had lead up. I should have. I, you should never right. ask a lady. You age. say, You're "Hey, right. I'm a half elf. I'm sure I'm 150 years old." No, I am 25. I don't think I'm that old. I'm 27. Also, and that's like. My... Neither of you know that's true. Were you counting when you were one year old? I mean. No. Well, there you go. You don't think their parents might have? I'm just saying. If no, if Jonathan, how old were you when you started counting? I don't know, like five, maybe less. Who, who, who doesn't like count how old they are at yeah. like, maybe, maybe like three, right? Like three or four. And what? who, who told you you were five when you started counting? I, my dad, probably? Okay. I don't know. Where is he now? Do you remember who told you how old you were? Oh, I'm Mayrock, do you not think you're being a little paranoid? I've been told that before. <laughs> Look, so let's way. assume 25 and 27. I'm 31, you're... 33. Old. Old. Uh... uh, uh just entering my prime. Anyway, old. Whether though, though pretty miraculous for a mental health, I'll give you that. Whether we we all end up aging at the same rate is up to the fates. But I just wanted to make sure Nixie, on top of hiding that she was a shark, was not hiding that she's also like two hundred. Just right. making sure she doesn't have to tell me her exact age. She doesn't no. want. To. Yeah, no, John. I, I know you. Want you you could be trapped forever as far as you know it, that cherub faced chin beard strap kind of age. Uh, you really think so? What a sweetheart. So kind of you. I I hope I'm not. <laughs> We're getting Let's... off topic, and I take some responsibility for that. But... I've noticed we do that a lot. But the abyss. Well, the... Okay, do you guys have any ideas for how we're going to find the palace? Because we have we saw a lovely show. We met the locals. Uh, do you want to try the food next? I Through the abyss is where the palace is. We just need to find the abyss. Here are the locals. Let's mix and mingle. Well, Mayrock, you and me can't, <laughs> sadly. I, I'm, Unfortunately, I'm it's just me and Nix and... Wait a That's... minute. We're not tethered to the bear, but they can't. they pass through the bear. Well, did you think it was the tether that caused it? Well, I would assume. I mean, Nyx also came at a different time, and you came at a different time. I think it's because Jonathan and I aren't supposed to be here, which is why we can't... Then, and the bear this. is. Well, the bear it isn't is. supposed to be here either, but are you saying Nixie's supposed to be here? There's definitely something separating Nixie and Wiccan. Nixie makes us. sense. She's made her own individual searing ritual. She came here by herself, though normally she'd be stepping into the feet of Yorm. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Joke's on you. I've actually been Yorm this whole time. We're both Yorm. Wait, Wait you know, I think it's just me. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure we've uncovered it, and I'm the real hero here. Thanks for opening that door. All right, don't get too cracked out. <laughs> she I know laughed. the experience of no becoming a hero. She has no idea what we're talking about anyway. Yeah, Nixie doesn't even know. The experience of becoming a hero can be rather intoxicating, but... Hold on, I need to confirm this for a minute. So not only I... is there something separating uh, Nixie and Wiccan from us, there's something that's between me, Mayrock, and Honeypot that is all the same. Well, perhaps yeah. Honeypot follows their own rules because they are an animal or a spirit or something else, and I give another big bear fuzz pet. A cutie. I mean, that's true, he, but... Uh... He returns from talking to a ha half lurkin who confirms that Nixie and Wiccan look exactly the same, like twins. What? Oh, no. oh. But they both look like fish. Wait. Wait, what? Fish is in literal Wiccan fish? Wiccan is just as confused. 
Wait, so like, okay, I have a couple questions. What? I also have a couple questions. <laughs> There's a line of questioning that needs to go do, on here. Do you mean that, like, to us we look different, but to the lurking around us we look the same? Or yes. do you mean that, like, oh, okay, okay. Uh, second question, do they look like fish, or do they look like a one-armed person who happens to be named fish? They both appear... As though they were Nixie. Well, let me tell you, Lil. Uh, I don't know who that friend of yours was that suggested a more complicated name, but boy, oh boy, <laughs> calling yourself Fish once in an underwater campaign uh, seems like it may have come into a couple of snaggles. I... No, I'm, I think, no, the friend was just, they just had no <laughs> idea what they were talking about. I'm at Wiccan on I, the back. I have to ask all of you this. Did you perform the ritual correctly? Absolutely no not. No. Not it was terrible. Oh, shit. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does that mean there's no Yorm at all? No, Nobody's Yorm? No. There is no Yorm. If there's no Yorm, the searing can't be completed. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, well, hold, that's a very negative up. thought to have. Wait, hold up, though. Okay. So you say, like, you didn't do the steering, correct? And she just kind of, like, points vaguely at all of them. So... The, none of you are actually Yorn? This is all very They can't be seen. You and me can be seen. The bear is an anomaly. Well, okay. we'll leave Honeypot out of the equation for now. As Honeypot doesn't seem to have any opinions hey, on the matter. Right, Nixie. Honeypot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nixie, this is yes. a crazy question. The answer is no. You've never been anchored to the bottom of the ocean before, right? No. Just checking. Just making sure. Hmm. Okay. That would mean that I was Yorn? No. Yeah. No? Oh, yes. God. Oh, man. <laughs> this means... <laughs> was the only one to perform the... The ritual has been, sh has been completely decimated in the process. Yet still, we were sent to the realm. In the shoes of Yorm, I suppose, but we're not Yorm, so... What's the point? <laughs> so... We still have an objective, though. If we do nothing and settle into this kingdom and live our lives as ghost people for the rest of our days, first of all, fantastic. I choose yeah, to maybe that. Yeah, maybe I'll be happy. Yeah. Second of all... Maybe. Second of all, if we complete the searing regardless, we travel to the the palace, we fight Orkon, we slay him as Yorn would have done, and do it in his name, and nothing happens, then at least we know and we return back to plan A. For now, nothing changes. No, you don't understand. If we do that, or, then Yorm never did it. But, but, wait... Not time travel, nothing like that. We're in, consider this a different place. Yorm needs to beat Orkan. There is no Yorm. We cannot leave. Or oh. if we do leave, something wrong. Something is wrong. Okay, so this is a really simple solution. We just need to make one of you Yorm. What? Well, yeah, what else are we gonna do? Not have a Yorm? No, that's, that's correct. I mean... When we're talking fundamental basics. Come on, Wiccan, you've been, you've been yeah. prepping for this moment your whole life. That's you can a, be your. That's precisely it. Just because you don't look like him doesn't mean you're not supposed to talk like him, be him. That's the whole point. And maybe, you know, it's a story. People people told this story. A mantle they... huh? within a searing within a mantle huh? He, you look like he, you can see the steam starting to blow out of his head now. Yorm, Yorm. Or Wiccan, look, just one simple thing. Here, Here's my idea, okay? If it's a story, and I've read a lot of stories, it's not exactly what happened. It's what people say happened. So it's not that Yorm defeated Orkon, it's that people saw Yorm defeat Orkon. I would go a step further and say it's not that they see Yorm defeating or Yorm defeating Orkon, it is they know that he did. It doesn't matter but who how, actually did it. How so, still would 
you be here, and why would I be... Oh, God damn it. That's not important. The important part is that your job as a Mantelhar is to come out of the shadows, abandon <sighs> who you are for a few years, be the story that it has to be, and then go back to being a shadow. That hasn't changed. We have to find the palace. You are correct. I have to do my duty as a Mantelhar. Even if it... Uh... Even if we end up trapped here forever, it's the best and only option that we have available to us. Crazy idea. Maybe the abyss is downwards. No, it's possible. But again, I think that we just ask one of these people in the crowd, and I look to Nixie and look towards the, the people who are milling away from the theater now, distraught. What? We need to find... Go ask. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Nixie. If you do not ask one of these people where the abyss is located, then I am going to ask Wiccan if he has any surprise uh, birthmarks that I can embarrass you about forever. Please work with me on this. I mean, we can't see. Right, God. Uh, Nixie, please, the abyss, ask anyone. <laughs> I'm begging you. She... Are all, all of the lurking here, are they all kind of like... Is there anybody who stands out as like a little bit... Is there anybody that stands out? What, like, what are you looking for? Someone a little more elegant? Someone who looks... Uh... Fish with an afro. I I just realized the the fish in the play. They looked at Wiccan. Wiccan's not shark Nixie. He's normal Nixie. Right. Yeah. Wait, so I also look like normal Nixie and not shark Nixie? Shrug, apparently. If you guys look the same, which they say you look the same, yeah. you don't even look like a shark. But, but, fuck. My brain hurts. That's a problem. You were all getting okay. too much into the details here. No, but the first person that we saw said I looked like, said that I had, I was a noble. So, oh, fuck me. Okay. Blood, blood <laughs> comes out of my nose. Ha, ha. Um, so, yeah, okay. So, here's my thing. I want to look at someone who's not going to beat me up. <laughs> if I ask them. But I see. don't want to find someone who's going to get me arrested because they're a noble either. Mm, you know, I'm looking for somebody a little calm. Listen, I'm taking this fucking picture right now. That lady looks like she's going to kick your ass. Yeah, but I, as soon as he put it up, I was like, yeah, that's correct. Hmm. <laughs> you see uh, what seems to be a rather elegant looking uh freshwater lurkin like yourself but she looks quite different in fact she seems to be maintaining her humanoid form but has gills in the side of her neck this is unique you have not seen this yet interesting um uh hi there uh the name's oh. nixie nixie is it yeah, can I ask you a really weird question? Of course. Um, is my face, like, a human face right now? Yes, that is to be expected of the noble Wilk. It's surprising that you've come so far away from the palace, young one. Um, yeah, I... It's a long story. Uh, I'm trying to make my way back. Um, Are you then? I understand as much. I've heard that there has been the wanderings of princesses around the city, is it? And she seems to be giving you a little bit of a nudge. She like she does a little shrug, shrug like I don't know, could be, could be me. Uh, <laughs> She also doesn't want to get in trouble. Um, you are a creature unlike any have seen here before. 
You don't belong in this city, little girl. Look, I... You want to leave? I'll show you the way to the abyss. Can I sense motive check this? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Well. (laughs) Gut gut feeling, what do you say? Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, Thank you. This is the first kindness anybody has shown me out here. Well, Don't expect to find any in the capital. Don't expect to find much in the capital. She seems to wear a long, flowy, silken garment behind her uh, and does definitely stand out among her peers. Uh, like I said, most most fresh water from what you're able to see when they're in their fish their fish swarm look no different than, ha- than half lurking. So you've not seen any with a humanoid-esque appearance like this. So interesting. Okay. Um, and then she's going to go, um, of course, uh, let me just get my sister. <laughs> and she um, goes to grab the crew. Um, and she returns with her identical twin and a bear. <laughs> they can't see the she, bear. She throws oh, an right. eyebrow. She throws an eyebrow up. Hmm. Two, is it? How curious. Who's better than one? It's what they always say. So they do. Um, You've come a long way, princess. Please, allow me to take you back to the, to the palace. Thank you. Are you ready um, to go? Yes. Listen, I don't, I don't speak Aquan or whatever language that was, so I don't know what happened in that exchange. But Nixie, are we heading the right direction then? I think so. Fantastic. Hey, uh, actually, May Rock, uh, can you do me a favor? Uh, sure. Can you, can you just like yell really loud? I want to see if anybody notices. Uh, I once again like cut my my hands around my mouth and just bellow. Does anybody look over? Nothing. Absolutely nice. nothing. Okay. Uh, then uh, Dixie's gonna lean back into Whisper again, and she goes, "Okay, well, that is good news. Uh, however, I'm going to need you to stop talking to me when we're in public because okay. I'm gonna look really strange. Okay. Well, you can talk to me, but you know." All right, I've <laughs> don't I've, expect a response. I've got an idea. So because they can't see me, and it's, you know, of course we gotta speak in code. If you need to speak to me, just just gesture a little bit with your hand, and I will put my ear directly in front of your lips, so you can whisper directly into it without having to move, uh, thus keeping yourself incognito. Okay. Um. How about instead of just uh, moving my hand about a little bit, because I think I do that a lot. How about I, uh, I put my hand right through your face? All right. You touch him. <laughs> <laughs> your hand is now gently caressing the side of his face. Well, it does not pass through. You, I, when you say gently caressing, I think what you meant to say was you punch him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You gently caress him in the nose. <laughs> Oh, um... Yeah, fucking yeah. rubbed his nose and looked shocked. Okay, fine. Understood. Uh, sorry. No, I thought you would... Uh, it's, I'll just tap it's, your no, it's, shoulder. No, it's fine. We'll we'll work in code. Okay. Uh, she nods. <laughs> All right. Anything else and, from here? And it's a word picture. I'm going to tell you guys right now. I'm going to end it off a little bit early so I can spend That's a little fine. bit more time thresh, uh, fleshing some stuff out with the information that I've Ooh. shat onto the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm having fun. Before Make before we go, Nixie, up. get this character's this NPC's name. Who are they? Real quick. Uh, hi. Um, sorry to interrupt the walk. Um, oh, um. What's your um? What's your name, by the way? Underwater I, 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 Oh, uh, wh- what's your name, by the way? Uh, I told you mine. Ashura, Queen Ashura. Oh dear God! <laughs> <laughs> dun dun dun! 
Now ask for her phone number. Ask for her phone number. Twentieth bride to Orkan. Fucking been there. Fuck. Fuck. What, what a what, what a... fortuitous happenstance this is. Oh no. Wow. Shall we go, little one? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm glad you asked so I could bomb a cliffhanger there right there. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, of Orton, what a fucking. What, this is what the a, most a, improv movie. I think I've ever done yet. Well, at least Good. in years so far. Uh,. I'm glad you that I could prep- it's still pissed oh. on you. It was. It was did just. You fucking oh, no, 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 no. a whole play. Of course he did. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like you, you can hear me stutter and pause, and I'm like, oh, what the fuck happens just next? Literally, okay, literally, just at the beginning, I got, I heard you establishing yourself, and then it looked, it felt like you were like reading it off a page. Uh, oh, hey, king of smooth as fuck. To all the people Man. in the Twitch right now, fucking thanks for hanging out with a weird three and a half person D and D game. Uh, God, I guess why I guess weird? We'll legitimately yeah, the, see you guys next week. People do it. Wait, is the half person you... Wiccan or Honeypot? Oh, the half person is no go. No, uh, hey! Back to subhuman. That's what happens when you quit your day job and play D&D games all day. I'm going to go ahead and I'll just cut us off and we can keep talking in the like general chat of the Discord. But thank you for everyone who's been watching so far. Again, what? lots of new names. Uh, I'm not super good at engaging with people, but I appreciate everyone who stopped down. If you're still listening and don't have us muted, uh, go ahead and hit the fucking the follow button down there. And I'm teaching people how to play Pathfinder and all sorts of shit in text D&D. So uh, go do that too. And if, you wanna, and if you want to know any more about the world's lore or character-like details or whatever, fucking uh, hit us up on the Discord. Discord's where it's at. Yeah, yeah. And talk, yeah. talk to me. Give me your ideas so that I can steal them and say that they are mine. Yeah, yeah. If, you if you discover... You know, if you, you learn anything about DM the world me. lore, uh, you should tell <laughs> me so I know... You should make fan art of Ashura the Sea Queen and send it to my P.O. box. You should, yes. You should, yes. You should draw her with, uh, with Fumb. Yeah, draw her and Fumb and Honey Pot. <laughs> um, DM me and write my backstory long. for me. All right, you guys are, let's see, what's, what's going to be the calling out card for today? Um, how, did, how, did that, how did Flum sound? Remind us. Oh, yes. Uh, donate $10 uh, uh, in bits. And Jonathan will eat honey pot. Yes. I mean, that's that's probably... Oh, man. I'll tell you what. I would like to have an actual thing uh, at some point for the Twitch thing where I just spend like an hour or two just talking about D&D and, and dumb topics relating to the, the yes. game and other stuff so I can talk. Maybe I'll plan that out at some point, but... Uh, uh, no ghost fire side chats. Donate so they can force us to do terrible things. <laughs> Donate. All right, and everybody. Uh, so you guys go ahead and give me thumb noises. Just make a noise. Just give it to me good. Say goodbye and th- thumbs. Th- th- oh, th- thanks for watching this game, everybody. It's been a wild experience. <laughs> Just me talking. Okay, cool. Like, dude. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Oh, On to the sea. On to the sea. Oh, my God, man. Don't live it.